So, when last we left off, you guys had a pretty relaxing day at the carnival run by a very tall, and in Damios's case is handsome, Farbolg named Perlamin Moonsong <laughs> and his little uh, crew of colorful cast. You guys played some games, uh, got to see some familiar faces, um, had some fun, just all in all, relaxing, enjoying yourselves, getting the trauma of the fight in the church off of your minds. And then mm-hmm. you guys went home when it started to rain because Amara's spell wore off. Um, so now you guys wake up and start the day. What are you guys going to do? Uh, just to clarify, what day is today? Today is the 17th of Thermidor. You guys have one 17th. day left. Got it. You guys have one day left. Ugh. <laughs> Dawn of the final day? <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess kind 24 of. Twenty-four hours remain. <laughs> Technically, forty-eight, eight, because yeah, it's not until forty-eight. Like, yeah. Night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Until the following it's night. Dawn of the second day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. You guys also uh, discussed going. That's why it's raining. Yeah. Because it's the second day. <laughs> <laughs> you guys also discussed. And Amara <laughs> held off all the weather for like. 12 hours. Yep, you guys also yeah, discussed... Seriously. It was 8 hours, the spell only lasts that long. <laughs> you guys also discussed going to Farthingale to collect your mm-hmm. reward for the uh, two missions that you completed. The two other ones you completed. Right. The two <laughs> other ones. Yeah. Right now. It is still raining a little bit outside, but it looks like it's going to clear up by the time you guys leave. Alright. Fuck. Roll 20. There. <laughs> Stopping my shit. <laughs> anyway. I mean, it started playing from, like, near the end, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, derp. I need to fucking loop. There you go. Where did I put? Okay. So, the day is yours. Um... Daisy is still. <gasps> Daisy is still fast asleep because of the ordeal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> it was so. It was so. It was. There was just so much events. <laughs> I forgot how to say words. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so many events happened. Uh, she uh, refused to dunk a, uh, to uh, do a dunk tank. It was a whole. Th- it was a whole thing. Very difficult. <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> and not for nothing, but Seth's kind of fluffy, so <laughs> maybe, maybe. I mean, you're I right. <laughs> you're, it's really lucky that you're on top. You can just roll off quietly. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> also, you literally really said you just uh, had, oh, had, had to say. It. Well, okay. I now know what I said. Never mind. All right, look. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Salentium is going to um, rub her eyes and just sit in bed and just kind of take in the what happened yesterday and just think back, relish in the dunk tank. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, I heard. I heard relish, and then uh, my earbud fell out. Oh, oh uh, she was relish, <laughs> relish in the dunk. Relish in the dunk tank. Ah. A happy <laughs> dunk tank dreams. Ah, uh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Of putting that. Go to your happy place. Go to your happy place. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that for. Uh, before last session, Rook didn't really have any problems with her. Like, yeah, she was kind of a bitch, but didn't really have a problem with her. You, in your traditional fashion of of walking out first, you left first and didn't argue with her as much. It's yeah, true. exactly. Yeah, he's a man of few words. He's yeah, a man of few words I mean, and great impatience. Brow, so, so you guys saying this in character or? 
No, this is out of character. Yeah, is, oh, oh, yeah no, this is out of character. character. We're not I standing together. Yeah, we can't possibly. No. We're all shouting across the halls. You're a dumb fat lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you. She's a fucking racist, man. <laughs> She made a racist comment in my direction, and then now she is dead to me. <laughs> As she would be. As she should be. All right. Let's. All right. Now, let's focus here. All right. Uh, I'm just going to roll off of Daisy. Proceed over. <laughs> Go over to. I'm just going to pop up on the desk and start preening myself. <laughs> I, re- I literally thought you were going to say, I'm going to hop on the desk and I'm going to start calling to op- to wake everyone up. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a raven, not a chicken. Uh, ravens sure. have. Well, you have to remember, ravens have even more annoying uh, cacaws than, uh, you know, than chickens. Yes. Do. <laughs> you ever hear those things? Awful. I've, I've heard them. Yeah, they they're awful. As you're putting yourself, <clears throat> anyway. Rook is walking by. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> Seth is just sitting on the desk. He's sitting on the desk, like preening himself. <laughs> Give him a look. That's like, huh? Never seen that before. But uh, nothing too out of the ordinary. It's kind of goes over to a table, eat an apple, yeah. like always. <laughs> God damn it! How many of those do you have? Where are you getting them? <laughs> Uh, I currently How many have, days has it been? Have they not gone bad yet? <laughs> I have a bag of refrigeration. Oh. Uh, well, well even that. Baruch, when you open your bag of refrigeration, it smells rancid. I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw from all the blood and stuff that's been stewing in it. Oh, yeah, because of the orc head and stuff. <laughs> You're just eating an apple, ignoring the blood <laughs> all over it. Just like, what <laughs> apples are supposed to taste like, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, so somehow, <laughs> even though somehow, even though to oh, Damio, since you're standing nearby, I'm gonna have to make uh you roll a Constitution save as well. From and, my from my like twenty <laughs> feet away. All right. Yeah, it's it's been stewing in there for days. It's a bag of refrigeration. Yeah, but it can still, still get blood. dirtied. Please it can, still, it can still. still get dirtied with blood. You ever refrigerate blood, though? It doesn't work. It, it only lasts so long. Not to mention, you yeah, didn't, it does need to be clean. You didn't contain oh, you it or anything. Disadvantage stuff. Uh, it's okay, oh. I'm taking the first roll. Uh, Seth, you I mean, have to fight not to gag. Damios, you're kind of like, but it's fine. It's like, it's, <laughs> I, I can smell it from all the way here. <laughs> Yeah. I, I like almost as soon as Rarook opens the bag, I take a sniff and I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna say I literally didn't even notice until I got like I walked past, didn't notice, didn't notice until I got to the stairs, and then it, I just turn around and just like, what the hell is in that bag? <laughs> what? Uh, the, what the heck is in that bag? What is that smell? Ogre head, or ogre head. Seth, uh, Seth flies. <laughs> Seth flies over there. You still have that thing? You don't have the ogre head inside the bag, but it's the blood left over. Yeah, it's the blood. Uh, the, I mean, yeah. there used to be one in here. Why didn't you clean out the bag? Forgot. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, I know where have apple seed. Oh, right. No, he dropped it on the desk. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> Could have taken it to the taxidermist. Could have. <laughs> Maru, buddy. Are you are you just not smelling it somehow? Or? Yeah. How are you not smelling that? It's like, oh, God. The, whatever. The, the smell alone is is making my stomach want to jump out of my body and run away. (laughs) And that's very hard to do. It's literally a wonder I'm even still talking to you right now. (laughs) I mean... It's not that bad. I've smelled worse. Oh my. I don't want to know what's worse than that. 
It's just blood. What else? There's worse things. Okay, the legit out of context question. <laughs> Have you ever smelled rancid blood? Like <laughs> actually? <laughs> no. Yeah, like it is I, one of the worst things in the world. Yeah, or no. It, yeah, it I know. Absolute. Oh my god. It, it's like a mix between the smell of like a rotting thing and the you know dis, uh, y- you also get like that brain thing where you're just like oh yeah that's blood and that makes it worse. <laughs> yeah, and it's like like you rotting blood you can smell the iron in it. Hmm. And so imagine like metallic rotting smell and that's what it is. Yeah. And then multiply it by how much is in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> by how much blood is on the floor. I kept my apples in here. Okay. Oh, Are you gross. eating the apple? Why? <laughs> <laughs> First off, first, first off, <laughs> isn't this how apples are supposed to taste? Wait, we've been eating the bleh. We've been eating these apples. I have You've been eating them. I haven't. <laughs> uh, I used right, to so keep I'm... them in my bag. I go I and eat a single right. egg every morning. Okay. Yeah. Here's all the people yelling at each other. It finally gets out of bed and wanders over. I'm Don't. not taking I any food from something. you. Saving throw. Yeah. Okay. I am not taking any food from you until you clean that bag thoroughly. One second. Let me make. Ah yes. Visit the local laundromat. <laughs> <laughs> Constitution. Ooh. Oof. Yeah, you gotta fight not to throw up. As the smell of rancid blood, <gasps> days old blood hits you. I'm just gonna, I'm just standing on the stairs and I'm just like, <laughs> so, how are you? I can assume that's what everyone was yelling about was that stench. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah I, I, Seth goes over to her. Yeah, Raruk didn't clean his bag after he took after he took the ogre head out. That's unsanitary. The, the blood is still in there, and apparently he was also keeping apples in there. That's even more so. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear another apple crunch in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Steph just whips. Steph just whips around, and he goes, "Do not eat that apple." <laughs> Do not. <laughs> um, already did On the contrary, absolutely eat the apple. I'm sure you've done worse things and not died. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad that Daisy is still asleep right now. I keep screaming. She might not be for long. <laughs> Sorry, uh, it has a smelling salt effect and uh, Mart just appears right now. <laughs> funny. I, I mean, she's kind of she's kind of out. I mean, I I got up I got up off of her and she... Excuse me, it's not I, I'm sorry, I, I do have the common decency to not look at, at people's sleeping habits that often, but on top of her... <laughs> Celine just starts fanning herself with her hand. Oh my. Uh, like, I was literally ignoring it. I was sleeping, looking in the opposite direction. I did not know. <laughs> wait. What? No, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that at all. Oh, <laughs> woo. Shut up, Daniel. It wasn't like that, I swear. Hmm. 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 Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, you two did display some PDA back at the carnival. We kissed! That was it! A PDA! Public display of affection! Yeah, isn't that everyone knows? Cool? Everyone knows that kisses go up two levels if it's in public. That was like base four now. That oh doesn't even make sense! <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even make sense! 
<laughs> it's occurred to me that that might not make sense, but shut up. <laughs> base four in ye old baseball. <laughs> no, that 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 was Seth in character. <laughs> oh no, I, I just realized that I made a base reference and baseball doesn't exist. <laughs> eh? I mean, maybe again, maybe it does. Ye old baseball might be a thing. <laughs> There's a game oh, similar. To see it yet. There's a game similar to baseball in this world. Okay, okay. good. Thank you. And then we'll leave it at that. <laughs> and you, and every, while while Seth is like trying to defend his innocence, you see that his feathers are getting all ruffled and poofy because he's because he puffs up. <laughs> oh, uh, it's it's incredible. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what kind of thoughts you have in your head, but Daisy and I did not do anything last night. I didn't say you Tell did. Yourself that. I merely questioned that you were sleeping on top of her. But you know, if you like, you you went out of your way to take it that way, I said I didn't say anything. I slept on top of her because she's warm. Uh, that. That that's not helping your case, bud. Anyway, <laughs> and then I go upstairs without saying anything else. <laughs> yeah. Celestium just goes over and pats Seth on the shoulder. It's okay. At least you have someone to be to that's warm to sleep with. Yeah. I don't have anyone. Wait. Wait. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't. You don't have anybody. Well, I had to, I was engaged, but I had to leave him behind because I had to go on a quest to try and end the curse. Oh, right. I mean, if I ever get rid of it, the engagement will still be valid, but unfortunately, as it is now, I can't even see him anymore. Oh. By the way, can we agree But at this point that Uruk has tied up the bag so that no more smell can get out? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably. I mean, I mean we don't have to agree on that. You can literally just say you did it. Yeah. Yeah. We. I mean, we. We don't have any Febreze though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That that area just kind of sits now. <laughs> we, we don't have a Febreze sponsorship. You can't use that name. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, you're uh, doing. Continue. Sorry. Oh, um, um, I'm sorry that that curse kind of, uh, well, what's the term? Threw your life into shambles. Yeah, that works. <laughs> in an extreme way to put it, but yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry. It's not funny on its own. It's just the what's that word? Oh God. Um, threw your life into shambles. <laughs> That would just be funny. Yeah. Um, Way to put it. Yeah. Yeah, my... Uh, yeah, that uh, that kind of sucks. That, that really sucks. I'm sorry. It's fine. Hopefully I'll be able to find a way to remove this curse and I can go back. Well, if anything, I think... Uh, I think... Personally, I think uh, any any cleric worth their salt would be able to help. Maybe even Daisy would be able to help you if we could find a way. But if it's any consolation, I will try to help in, in whatever way I can. That is some consolation, actually. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, hey, no one should be, no one should be kept from true love. I think you know better than anyone. <laughs> yes. He is very dear to me, so I will do anything to get back. Hey. That means, see right there what you said? That means it's, that means the feeling's mutual both ways. That's, that's good to have. Good quality. <laughs> you 
You're uh Slentium, I um I know we haven't really interacted much aside from aside from the carnival, aside from a couple interactions here and there is in passing, but I think you are very very pure hearted. Or at least it's what I've seen so far. Yeah. You know, whenever um whenever people look at Damio say they look at him like he's like this I don't know, like he's a bad omen. But when I look at you or when when other people look at you, I don't see that. Uh, people will look at you with curiosity, with like like what is this elf species? I've never seen them before. That kind of thing. But from what I can tell, you have a good heart. And and that is from what I've seen in the world, very rare. And you and you and Daisy are the two are the two creatures that I've encountered that have a pure heart. Raruk and Damios, I'm still on the fence about, but you right, heart- fuck you, but you right. <laughs> <laughs> their heart, as far as far as I know, their hearts are in the right place, at least with this secret society. But other than that, I'm. I'm sorry. It's just I. I used to be really trusting of people and that ended up biting me in the tail feathers. So if that's, you know, if you ever thought I was, I wasn't very trusting, that's why, but I I want you to know that I do trust you. I, I trust you as, I trust you as much as I trust Daisy. Curse or no curse. You know, it's interesting. The man I love said the same thing to me, actually. He said that it's interesting to see someone as pure-hearted as I am. So yeah. you made my day just a little bit better. Well, I, I call him as I see him, sister. And it's kind of an honor to be trusted as much as you, as Daisy from, by you. <laughs> because I know how close the two of you are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, listen uh, about what just happened. Now that's uh, I, I can promise you nothing happened last night. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't uh, do that because you know <laughs> it's like hey <laughs> we're not even engaged. It's uh, whew, that's a bit of a. <clears throat> <laughs> Jim just giggles. It's okay. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, come on. Let's uh, let's go upstairs. Uh, we'll let we'll let Daisy sleep for a bit. She seems Alrighty. she seems pretty out of it. Okay. While they were having the conversation before they get up there, Damios and Maruk, when you guys get up to the um first floor, what are you guys doing? Uh, I'm gonna go egg. <laughs> like uh, I'm gonna be getting up to the counter and also ordering food for once. Okay. Uh what can uh-huh. I also- I do use single egg as an excuse. I've just forgotten what the menu was. <laughs> <laughs> There's like biscuits and chicken and stuff, I think. Oh, that's yeah. right. And then it's like a whole chicken for some reason. <laughs> yeah. It's like a whole chicken. It's like... <laughs> what yeah, uh, I order I'll, I'll have a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> a growing boy has to eat. One chicken? I mean, you're right. Uh, <laughs> and what can I get you? Uh, can I get like... 
an egg and a... Is there a way I could get, like, not the entire chicken? <laughs> we can do a half a chicken, we can do a quarter chicken, we can do certain parts of the quarter chicken. Quarter chicken will do, quarter chicken will do. Like, honey, you hear that? <laughs> yes, dear. And she's going to start making your food as uh, Salentium and Seth come up out of the hay bale. Salentium goes up to the bar. Can I get a biscuit, please? All right, coming right up. <laughs> Did you have fun dunking that uh, lady? It was <laughs> like uh, a dream. That was the greatest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen come up and so sweet. <laughs> yeah. Dream. Yeah, she was. Uh, <laughs> that was pretty fun. Just gonna quote Markiplier from the stupid wisdom teeth removing video. Like the wing. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Like, right. I just had to. So, like what are your plans now that uh, now that you've done all you think you can do here? I mean, you help. We're gonna head back to Farthingale. Oh, to Farthingale. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it just seems like the best idea. I feel like we've almost been avoiding that place. <laughs> No, oh. <laughs> can't imagine why. Either, although either that those are, although, kind of wouldn't blame you. It's expensive to live there. Huh? Really? Well, it's a capital city. It's where the royal royal couple live. Oh, uh, fair enough, brother. Fair enough. <sighs> Interesting. Though. Uh, if you do see Zulu, can you tell her I said hi? She didn't come by uh, today. Yeah. We'll do. She, did, she no. didn't come by today for some reason. Hmm. Interesting. Does she come by every day? Usually, yeah. She comes by, gives um some a bit of money, whatever I need, and she drinks a little bit. Even if she's not giving money, she just comes to visit. But she didn't come today. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It varies. Considering, it, it varies. Considering what we've seen, I think a little bit is not the best term. <laughs> it can vary. It really depends on what she's doing that day. She drinks more than I do. She drinks more than I'm I do. Ten times her size. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I mean, she doesn't drink more than I do, but that's that's more accidental. <laughs> <laughs> the the kind of drinker who forgets they're drinking until they've already had too much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And after a while, the after a while, Debbie comes back over with your food and mm -hmm. sets it down in front of you all. All right, one chicken. Biscuits, egg, and quarter chicken. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Seth just looks at Damien and Raguk and goes, Wow, I'm right here. <laughs> well, you're not a chicken. <laughs> I know, but uh, never mind. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pass him a gold piece. Oh he thanks. Hmm. Man, I really enjoy having the appropriate chain. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, since you didn't get the whole chicken, I'd just say two silver. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw I'll throw out three silver because I want to even out this number. All right, ah. thanks, and uh, just three copper for the biscuits. Eh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, three copper. Here you go. Thank you. If there's anything that you ever need, just let us know. We'll be here. Uh, thanks. Um, uh, hey, uh, can I get some? Uh, can I get some corn? Sure. And Debbie will go over to the barrel, get a scoop of corn from a cup, put it on a plate. And set it down on the counter. 
Uh, just got a notice from Daisy. Uh, yep. Might be another hour. Yep. Yikes. Uh. It's okay. We can yeah. keep going. We can okay. keep going. We're we're mostly doing RP stuff right now, so it's going to be an RP I mean, session. It's going to be an RP session. If there is any combat, I'll take control. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, got- I mean, all things considered, you, it'll take all of a, it, it, it'll take either Rarook or everyone else to lift her. But you know, we can always just shove her in the back of the cart if we have to actually go. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, we definitely do it. Did oh, you literally boy. shove me in the back of a cart once? <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. Your cart should be over at the dragon stables. All right. All right. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, be no careful around, you played uh, a song there, didn't you? Be careful around uh, the father. He's kind of a bit of an asshole. Mm. Uh, thanks. Father. Father. Uh, hold on. Raffle. Is he the... He is the one that owns the dragon stables. He and his son. Oh, right. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, they've been owning the dragon stables for quite some time. Uh, I see. The son's okay. All right. He's just a bit of a... um, Putting it blunt, he's a bit of a pussy. <laughs> Could have called him pushed over. Could have called him on, weak. Nah. Seth chokes, Seth chokes on a piece of corn. <laughs> He's a what? He's a bit of a weakling. He's a bit of a. Mm, He's a good guy, pansy. but he's yeah, he's a pansy. Oh. Spends more time around the animals than he does around people. Oh. Kind of doesn't live up to his father's expectations. That's from what I heard. Not that I blame him on that. Hmm. He's like my kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel free to talk to him if you want. You don't live up- more, uh... Wait, you don't live up to your father's expectations? <laughs> I was talking about the animal stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah, that. I mean, I mean, if I had the option, I'd probably spend more time around animals than other creatures do. <laughs> you know, if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know. Or Debbie. All right, thank you. Thanks. Okay, and with that, you guys, I assume, finish your meals. Yes. And then the day is yours. Okay. And don't worry about Daisy. We Once. usually run these things until like midnight or one anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay. we should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll get there eventually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Seth finishes his meal, leaves, uh, well, he he go, uh, he leans over and he goes, uh, "How much for the how much for the bird seed? Just one copper." Oh, uh, <laughs> all right. It's an I mean, ingredient. It's just corn. corn. It's an ingredient. You literally threw dried corn on a plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Trust me, that's one of the things that doesn't cost too much. <laughs> all right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, at I least we know you're a cheap date. Well, I give him, I give him the <laughs> copper. Oh, thank you. I wish you happy trails. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, and with that, what are you guys going to do? Well, uh, should we check on Daisy or... I'm going to say... She'll be fine. Sake, uh, I'm going to say for the sake, no, let, Daisy is I, going to be with you guys. I got it. I'll I'll check on her. <laughs> Again, I, just, I, I would love I it if to... uh, everyone just had to collectively lift her and like carry her. Well, to I'm going to say for the sake of narrative, Daisy is going to be with you guys following you around. She, I'm just not going to speak for her. She's not saying anything. Yeah. 
Oh, that would, that would have been funny though. Like us trying to lift her into the cart, and mm. Seth just Seth just His going, no, like no. buckling, and he's nah. just like, I can't stand for much longer, and he just gets <laughs> crushed. <laughs> or you know, just we're carrying her over the shoulder, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> how heavy is she? She's over, with the armor. She's over with the three, armor. With the armor. She's over three hundred pounds. Oh, she weighs a lot more than Raruk. <laughs> <laughs> so unless Raruk is like an ant. <laughs> With your collective efforts, you are all able to save. get Daisy out of bed. Check. <laughs> I didn't do a save. It's okay. Uh... Oh. You guys, oh, able, you one, guys are able two, to get Daisy oh, out of bed, one, and she two. follows you guys around as you guys do your stuff. Yeah, She's, she is okay. awake. She is awake. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just with the collective strength implies that we had to lift her, and now she can stand on her own. Though <laughs> <laughs> it took her a bit to get up. <laughs> I love the. I really love the idea that we're all collectively weakened at burning Bernie's hurting. Yeah, whatever you get, what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, so we start heading towards start heading towards the stables. Okay, stables are right here. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Uh, the map is really blurry for me, and I can't dare to. Oh, there we go. I learned new tricks. <laughs> All right, as you guys approach the stables, you see a tall elf, very sturdy and gruff looking, which is most unlike other elves. He definitely doesn't look like any elf you've seen. He looks more human, except with the pointy ears. He's a hefty man uh. who's, who uh, is chewing on a wheat stalk. And he wears a red bandana around his neck and a leather vest. Howdy. The real cowboy. <laughs> huh. I'm all right. All right. Hello. He raises a brow with Damios. Howdy. And then he turns to everyone else. What can hey, I do uh, for you? I'm just in. The, I'm just standing there, like, yep. Forgot about that again. Forgot <laughs> <laughs> uh, people are racist. <laughs> Oh, yeah. uh, yes, I forgot about racism. <laughs> like, oh, oh, right. That thing exists. Oh, yeah, that thing where people oh, yeah. don't like me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Casual racism. Uh, weird. Very difficult to remember, to be fair. Mm. Mm. What? We're here to weird. pick up our horses. Ah. Right. Nerf. And as he calls out, you see this scrawny and short elf. Or, he kind of looks like an elf, but he also kind of looks like a human. Uh, very short, very scrawny, lanky, with long limbs and a long chin. Kind of shuffle out of the stables. Um, he's fidgeting with his shirt a little bit. As he shuffles up to his dad. Yes, dad? Oh. Lead these guys to their, uh, horses. And actually get it right this time. We don't need another group going on with someone else's cart. Yes, dad. Uh, you can follow me. And he's going to lead you guys inside the stables. Silentium goes up to Apana and starts trying to stroke her mane gently. Apana whinnies and, and leans into the stroking. I love it. Uh, I'm guessing these are yours. Yes. Uh, yeah, the, these are ours. Um, do they have names? He's poking his fingers together as he says this. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, the um 
the one that the one that Salentium is standing next to her, her name's a Apana. And the other one is We did it, but I forgot what it was. Area. Did anyone write it down? I did. That, that's the name that's popping in my head, Baria. Aria. Whatever. <laughs> I love the oh. idea that this that every single time we forget what the name of the horse is and we rename it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually wrote it um, down. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Alec. Alec. Baldwin. Alec. Group. How much yeah. Baldwin? <laughs> it's Balak. <laughs> oh, Balak! Oh, right. Yeah, I knew Balak. it started with a B. <laughs> right. Yeah, that Alec. makes sense. That's familiar. Alec Baldwin. Uh, and uh, that one. That's his name. I won't hear anything of. <laughs> and Balak, that Balak one's Baldwin. <laughs> That one's name is Balak. Oh, that's those are very nice names. Uh, yeah, um, Salentium actually came up with a few, but uh, she had, she had the better selections. I was just gonna. Well, Baruch is the one that named the male horse. I named the female horse. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll help uh, get set up. I I guess. <laughs> And he says, All right, I I hate to be the one to ask this. Generally, I'm not the one who's nice enough to say this. But uh, are, are you are you like good? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Our, but what do like, you mean? Uh, like Seth walks up. Seth walks up to him and he goes, hmm? "Look, pal, I I've been around the block a few times. You look really nervous. Are you oh, okay? I, I, I'm always nervous. Uh, I uh." Not, I'm not really good with people. <laughs> I guarantee you are not here to attack you. Oh no, I, I know, I know that it's a, uh, it's uh, um, uh, and he's fidgeting, um, and looks down at his feet as he digs them in the dirt. I'm just not very good with people. They scare me. Ah. So ah. he just thinks in her head, this poor, poor shell of a man <laughs> this poor poor dweeb <laughs> i bet in that's modern, not a fall. i bet in modern times he'd be the biggest freaking weeboo <laughs> probably he just have like an anime body pillow that he snuggles with every night as like uh, he watches his netflix oh no <laughs> he's yeah. just like he's, he's just um stuck. Room on his 4chan or Rook, like as you uh, as you enter the stables, like the actual stables, you notice a plush of Ziv on the shelf. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the oh tiefling, no! The tiefling from the carnival, Perlman's assistant. Uh, that oh, okay. checks out. <laughs> huh? Yep. What, what does? I'm gonna walk over just to see what he's talking about. Uh, and oh, you, oh, see, you see, yeah. you see this blush. Yeah. Uh, you see this blush creep on his face. Uh, that that's that's not mine. Um, Seven, I, I get it. The chuckles. <laughs> mm. Relax, brother. Listen, you're you're talking you're talking you're talking to a four foot eight bird who's dating who's dating her. He look. He he points up. He points up to. He gestures to Daisy. It's okay to have a guilty pleasure. I'm gonna. I'm gonna like look at. I, 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 I before you did that. I'm still gonna do it. But I was literally just planning to do basically the same thing. It's just like, don't worry. I bought one of the big guy. <laughs> His bush just gets bigger, and he's just oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'm talking to some weirdos right now. <laughs> it's still in uh, just thinking to herself, this guy is going to literally, his head will explode in about five seconds if we keep talking to him. <laughs> he should probably get going. Uh, and he yeah. just runs away. <laughs> Have a good time with your dolls. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Seth slaps. At the end of the day, I'm still an asshole. <laughs> Seth slaps Damien on the 
Well, let's see. Uh, I guess he would. He would like. He'd use his wing to slap Damios on the back of the head because he's too tall to hit him with his arm. Hit him with his arm. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd be slapping his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he's not that short not Come that on. I'm opposed <laughs> <laughs> but no you'd be slapping him on his back he, he, like if you're four feet tall then he's only yeah. like six feet tall it's only two feet difference okay well he uses yeah, his wing anyway. he, he uses his wing <laughs> he uses his wing to slap Daniels on the back of the head dude Durf, what are you doing Look, man, I couldn't resist. You need help setting up your horses? No, no, uh, we're, we got it. We're fine. All right. Did he actually get it right this time? Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, he did. It, right? All right. That's why that boy. Durf! And he just stomps off after his son leaving you guys to get your horses and cart mm. All right. All right. let's get going <laughs> yeah All right, let's I, get going to you know, no, I almost feel bad for the kid he kind of reminds me of me when I was like much much younger <laughs> uh, I wonder if you were just as tactful as you are now <laughs> Does not speaking to anyone whatsoever count as being tactful? Uh, no. Then no. <sighs> <sighs> All right, and with that, you guys set out on the road again. <laughs> And let's I can't see. wait to get on the road again. <laughs> let's see. One sec. I feel like I I feel like my character is the weirdest one to have like a doll one of those guys. Silentium, uh yeah. roll me a 1d100. Me? I, right. I mean <laughs> I can't tell I'm not going to tell you what it is exactly, but I do have like a legitimate character reason. <laughs> oh dear. Uh. Okay, as you guys start out, you guys are not really sure which way to go to Farthingale because the one with the map is kind of still out of it. So you guys it's end almost up, like the map has changed. You guys get lost Wild, for three right? hours. Oh no! You guys go a little bit this way <laughs> before oh, no. before finally getting back on the path. <laughs> oh no! Does it feel to anyone else like it, like the place that we're trying to go is in a different <laughs> direction all of a sudden? Oh yes. yeah, Seth, I, I Seth yeah. Just, Sep just lo- he he takes the map. He looks at it and he goes, "Oh my god, we went the other way." <laughs> oh dear. By just way, look at is, the street signs and just way, like, uh, who's, uh, who's that's driving? the problem." By the way, who's driving? I would say Rurouk and Silentium are driving. Okay, yeah. they're each in charge of one of the horses. <laughs> yeah. Okay then. Look, do you guys want me to? Do you guys want me to fly up and see where we are? Seth, roll me a one d one hundred. Okay. All right. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Mm. Hi. Okay. As you guys are making your way through, you get kind of close to where Mara's shop would probably be, but. Uh, Mara's shop is way off in the distance, and yeah, it's a bit off in the distance. And you see a group of people coming down the path on their own cart, like you guys are passing by each other. And these guys are wearing hooded robes, and one of them kind of um, motions to the other, 
and motions to you guys. Hello there. And they uh, stop their uh, car. Hi. Hello. Uh, hi. Um. I'm sorry. Uh, we are just a group of fellows for the uh, local church, and we're wondering if you have a moment. Ah, fuck. <laughs> the Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> Valentium yeah. looks at the sky, judges how late the day it may or may not be, and decides... It's about noon. It's about think. 2 p.m. I don't mind if you guys don't mind. What do you say? I was gonna say, I wait. It's not. Uh... <laughs> What's this for? Just in case... In case of what? In what are you looking for? Lying. Oh, it's that's just in case. That's, lying is insight. Oh, whoops. Or rather, insight is to see their intentions. Ah. Ah. They do definitely want to talk to you about a god, but you kind of get the feeling that these guys are suspicious. I kind of want to hear what they have to say. That they're not letting everything out. That they're keeping secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Though, Seth to be fair, of, in he, character, I feel like Steph kind of feels like people are keeping fr secrets from him all the time anyway. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Steph kind of crosses his arms and looks at the others and goes... All right. Go I mean, I'm not super thrilled about it, but I mean, I've already been outvoted. <laughs> we're already on a we we are we're on a bit of a tight schedule, so uh, it's not that tight. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, Shut up. <laughs> though he looks over at Daisy. Oh, uh, you worship Tukaris? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, we do. Oh, uh. Yeah, this this god is a lot like Tukaris. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um Go on. My. Oh he brings all this life to the um to our church, to our lives. He's all about uh well, he's very vital. He's a uh, got a got a vitality, if you will. <laughs> He's a very, very generous god. <laughs> got a vitality, huh? Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but, nothing. I'm just uh, suddenly I'm suspicious. <laughs> I'm real suspicious. Yeah, so am I. Seeing, yeah, even seeing you guys, seeing what I'm kind sorry? of animal is it? Um, what what animal was it again? <laughs> he turns to. Oh his, come on, man! <laughs> he turns to. You're really not up on this sales pitch yet, are you? Not really. Yeah. Not really. Uh, what do you want? <laughs> Oh no, we wanted to tell you about our god. Uh, I'm new to this. Look, man, it's obviously I'm interested. Let's keep going. Yeah. All right. Hmm? What's the name of it? Uh, he kind of pulls out this little notebook, flips through <laughs> the pages. God damn it, I didn't write it down. <laughs> I, I know it started with an A. Eraser? I don't know. <laughs> Eraser gin? <laughs> I don't know. Eraser starts with an E, you dumbass. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys are absolutely suspicious. And you actually get the feeling they're not good people. <sighs> Seth just goes, all right, guys, look, whatever you're trying to do, it's not working. Yeah, I can tell. 
<laughs> so why don't you just do your just do yourself a favor, move along. Yeah. Let's, we don't want any trouble. We we don't want any trouble. Mm-hmm. We've had a really rough couple of days, and we just want to get home. So do us and yourselves a favor and keep traveling down the road. Yes. Uh, roll for intimidation. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting an at one. He's he's not exactly intimidated by a four foot tall bird, but he's nervous enough to where he's like just kind of slumped it in his seat, and the other guy just rolls his eyes. All right, let's get going. And he yeah, and they continue on. Uh, going. I'm just gonna shout direction. back. Good effort, there, guys. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Nah. They go off in this direction. Hmm. I wonder if that'll ever be important again. Weird. Okay. Uh, Alright. So, again, roll me 1d100. Okay. Well, that was weird. (laughs) That was really... Weird. Eh, it's not uncommon if you've been around. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I had people try to sell me stuff all the time. What oh, kind of money stuff? I don't have. As you what kind of get... stuff? You do not want to know the kind of stuff. Yeah, you know. You say so. But just stuff. <laughs> that just that just raises more questions. Questions which will not be answered. I'll answer, though. You know, it's it's the usual stuff, like religious stuff, potions that are supposed to do things that really can't do with a potion. Uh, Oh, you mean those bottles of water with colored ink in them? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Oh, gosh. (laughs) Real good guys we've got around here. I almost bought a bottle of that. Why am I not surprised? I am impressed by almost, though. Uh, <laughs> eh, shut up. So we rolled a 41. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was just get, letting you guys have a moment, because I love RP moments just out of the blue. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Street salesmen selling things mm-hmm. such as uh, not uh, pills for non- Bad purposes and <laughs> pills here, and of course, uh, a stack of Bibles. Literally, buy buy Bibles in bulk. No, Bibles about Jesus. They don't know what that is. They literally made the entire book up and they just <laughs> <laughs> trying to sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Would you not like to hear the word of Jesus? <laughs> okay. So, as you guys are continuing on, you're passing a small forest, and you hear from inside the forest <laughs> the laughter of a child. That girl again. That sounds oddly familiar. I need you guys to roll perception. Uh, Earth. Perception, alright? The most dreaded words you guys will ever hear. <laughs> Knowing you guys' roles. Oh. You guys don't really see much except for little flits of a tail, but Raruk, you see a gray tabby tabaxi running through the trees. It is not Ciceri, though? Nope, it's not Ciceri. Oh, this at is least, someone else. At least Rarook. For Rarook little would tabaxi know. girl. Rarook would know that it's not Ciceri. It's a gray tabby tabaxi with black hair. Huh. Ah. Uh. <laughs> so it's not her. Hmm. Uh, Can you find what? What'd you, what'd you see? <laughs> uh, it's another tabaxi, but not Ciceri. Oh, interesting. We got a good enough look at her. Can you find uh, me? 
<laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. Uh, did, oh, no. did that tabaxi just ask if we could find her? Okay, this is either a kid playing game or a surprise attack. <laughs> Neither would surprise me. And then you hear from the other side, even though there's nothing really there on the other side, no woods, no nothing, just, you know, there's some stones and boulders, but nothing much that someone could hide behind. Over here. <laughs> I look in the other direction. <laughs> Roll perception. Uh, I'm going to try to look in the other direction. Mm -hmm. You see yeah. nothing. Son of a uh. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Selentium. Selentium, uh, you would actually... You don't see anything over there, but you do see movement on your other side while everyone else is distracted looking over that direction. You see what kind of movements. You see the gray tabby sneaking up on your cart. Hey! <gasps> Back into the trees she goes. What was that? She was sneaking up on our car where everyone was looking the other way. <sighs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> It's not Probably so serious, but it is. <laughs> uh, I mean, she wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, yes, so. though. She would, she would take it directly from my pockets, which is different. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. This is a diversion. She pickpockets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's probably got friends. Let's just be on our guard. <laughs> while, right. you say, while you say that, you hear... And you actually do look behind you and see Sasiri running up to your cart. Like as fast as her little legs could carry her. Sasiri? Oh, Sasiri? <laughs> Seth immediately jumps down, runs over to her to meet her halfway. She looks like she ran a long distance to meet you guys. Sasiri, so what are you. Okay? What are you doing here? Where's Amara? Uh, Mom's back at the shop. Um, she's taking a rest from yesterday. But I, I almost, I almost missed you. <laughs> um, she holds out a small pouch to you, Sef. I'm sorry. And in it is six gold. Uh, uh. <sighs> he takes the. He takes the bag gently from her. I took a little bit from you when you were at the carnival. <laughs> I'm like, not surprised. He just chuckles. Seth, Seth just chuckles and he he kneels down so he's eye level with her. He's already eye level with her. She's four foot three. Uh -oh. he's, actually, he's actually taller than her. Well, he, he bent he bends down a bit so he's eye level with her and he just kind of he reaches up ruffles her head and he goes <laughs> if well if uh, if theory wasn't frowned upon <laughs> you'd be pretty good at it you'd have a real talent if it wasn't illegal <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's Seth, not my area of expertise, but I am very impressed. Seth, uh, you actually hear, and you're the only one who hears this because you're so close, Ciceri whispers, you would know a lot about that, wouldn't you? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Lore. <laughs> <laughs> Not menacing. The secret character she, background. She doesn't. Uh, she doesn't say it menacingly. She just is whispering it. Yeah. Seth's, Seth's eyes widen a bit. Kind of. He kind of looks around, and then he 
sighs, smiles, and goes, <laughs> Ah, perceptive little one. I heard. <laughs> well, uh, do me a favor, would ya? Hmm? See, see, a, a, a lot of people, a lot of people don't like people like me. Um, tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Hmm? I'll make you a deal. You keep that, you keep that our little secret, and you can keep the gold. I would keep it anyway. Oh, I'll gladly Jesus. take the gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, at, at least I know my, at least I know the secret's safe with you. <laughs> but I was going to let you take the gold. <laughs> <laughs> Billy was right. You are very kind. <laughs> A lot of people would say otherwise, kid. But I... I try to be. I need to get home before Mom notices I'm gone. Alright. Travel safe, okay? Eat. Uh, hold on, before Ciceri leaves, hmm? is, is she wearing armor? Uh, no. I cast mage armor. To keep her safe. <laughs> that only works for a few feet. I oh, believe. it does? Check your spell. What's the range? Uh, range is touch. Hmm. And what's in the uh, spell description? Touch the willing creature who isn't wearing armor and printed magical force rounds until the spell ends. Target so what's phase the duration? Eight. Uh, duration is eight hours. And is it concentration? No, it is not. Huh. Okay, well then. You do cast major armor on her. Yep. Just yeah, to keep she... her safe until she gets home. Well, thank you. All right. Run along, kid. And she jogs along <laughs> since she spent a lot of her energy getting to you guys she's gonna take it <laughs> leisurely <laughs> <laughs> okay and that's as dusk sets in you guys get to around here before it gets to be dark so you guys are pretty a ways away from town uh-huh. So you're going to set up camp? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Just give the horses a break. Okay. Yeah, give the horses a break. All right. You guys set up camp. And I'll let you guys have a moment if you want, or we could skip to the next day. Mm. Uh, as there, Does anyone as there have said, anything they would like to say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as they are setting up camp, uh, Seth goes over to Slentium and goes, Hey, um, you doing okay? It's not until the next night, and hopefully we'll be out of town by then. Or, I mean, you guys can sleep in the inn, but I'll have to be tied up outside of the town. And we don't have to tie you up outside. We could just be tied up in the room. I but imagine that trees this night. I'd be well, screaming and howling all night. I don't want you guys to have to deal with that. I mean, I guess you could knock me out, but <laughs> I wouldn't. I vote for Shabra in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Seth just gives Damios a dirty look. He's like, "It is, it is a completely reasonable suggestion. It just sounds mean." She's our Tell friend. You yeah, and not, she's our friend at all times except for that short period in that on that one night. Regardless, I'm not tying her up in the basement. 
I mean, I'm not sure that. there's a real argument for tying her up to a tree instead. I feel like they're the same thing. Yeah. Well, at least she's outside. Not in, a, not, not in some stuffy basement. <laughs> outside in the fresh air instead of, you know, uh, well, outside with the fresh air and mosquitoes instead of in the basement in the uh, stuffy, but also no mosquitoes. <laughs> equal, then, yeah. equal, equal on both sides. Well, at least it's not Florida. You right. yeah. <laughs> if this was Florida, a, I would, I would rather be in the basement. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. yeah, no cap. You, you, you are one hundred percent correct. Outside at night in Florida, you get eaten alive. <laughs> but anyway, Seth, Seth, like Seth, like hold. But either way, I think having her outside is better for her, and it's better for us because you know she's going to be. You're, what'd you say? You're going to be screaming and how? Yeah. Who, who's gonna Who's gonna sleep with that? Who's gonna, who's gonna, who's gonna a secret society doesn't again, have a could just knock, <laughs> Again, we could just knock her out. That's what I did say if you guys really insisted on me being in the same place as you guys, but uh, I'm not too keen about getting brain damage. Yeah, well, if we have, that is a fair point. Well, if we have bandages or whatever, we could... like. I don't think bandages don't heal brain damage. <laughs> I'm not no. talking about the brain damage. I'm talking about like <laughs> I'm taping our mouth shut, but without tape. Oh. This tape doesn't exist yet. Oh. <laughs> well, we don't know that. <laughs> well, we don't have any yeah. tape now, is do tape, we? Is tape real? <laughs> I'll have to do research on some of that. At the very least, we don't have any. We have indeed. bedroll and we have rope. I mean, if we, we did have bed. some, we could solve our pro- all our problems with flex tape, and that would be the shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not no flex tape my mouth shut. I'm never getting that off. <laughs> <laughs> flex tape can fix that, but nice. it can never be undone. <laughs> Yep. Well, there goes my contribution to this adventure, guys. <laughs> you can just be like X Men Origins Wolverine Deadpool. You can just never speak oh, because no. the character is too annoying. No. 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 <laughs> That'd be awful. That'd be the worst. What are you talking about? That's easily the best X Men movie in the last ten years. No! Yeah. You're anyway. not pissing off the nerds. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, for not yeah, pissing yeah. off the nerds reasons, I will say that was a joke. That movie is awful. Yeah. Alright, uh, so we set up camp. You're discussing what to do with Salentium come the next night. Uh-huh. So, uh, what's the strategy? Are we going to have me outside, or are we going to? I vote for I room? vote for you being outside. If we put her outside, she could, you know, be attacked or whatever. I oh, there is a possibility I could break three of the rope. That's true. Daisy pipes uh, up. Someone could keep watch of her. The cycle. Everyone, wa- everyone stays inside the inn. Everyone walks like the ten miles away that we put her every sing- like every hour. Not necessarily. <sighs> we could just have one person stay behind to keep watch of her in case something happens. I mean, it would be the best option. Yeah, it would, but I. I don't think I'd I hate to say it, but I don't think I'd be able to do it. I think I mean either, I'm not like, I think either me or, or Rarook would be able to do it. I'm the one who knocked out last. If you're doing it, I'm i I'm be, I'm gonna be with you. I don't care. You don't have to be. Well, I'm Seth. Good to have backup. Seth. 
I'm sorry to say it, but you are small and you are very fragile. I'd rather you stay in the temple with where you'd be safe. I know. I will be, I will be fine. I'm a dragonborn. I know. Remember what happened last time when I found you guys? Yeah, I know. I just. It's just I for just... one night. Unless Rarook wants to take it. I'll do it. Okay, there you go. I mean, I don't hear Damius chiming in, but <laughs> I am literally the physically weakest person here. I would die. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's watching someone tied up shake around for a night. <laughs> yeah. I don't even need sleep. Okay, but what about the 1% chance that it's not that? I would die immediately. <laughs> he almost did die. I've... Do you not I'm remember the time it. that she almost murdered me? <laughs> Seth. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> there, we have it all settled then. Bye. I still need to get the bag uh, in. The the what? A bag. I put the ogre head in. A bag. It might be best to have that cleaned professionally. <laughs> yeah. Considering the <laughs> just leave leave it tied leave it tied up until until we actually find someone that can clean that. I do it not want to wake up to that smell again. On the other hand, it would make a very effective method of waking people up. Ugh. I, just, I just think no. it would be hilarious if It'd make them lose their breath. We go into the laundromat and <laughs> no, 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 you've just woken up. You have the laundromat. It would be hilarious if we go into the old laundromat and the uh, laundromat. And he fucking opens up the bag and he's like, yeah, I need you to clean this. He just everyone in the laundromat. <laughs> the person just dies. <laughs> passes out. Yeah, everyone in there just passes out. It's actually a really brutal weapon. <laughs> like, he sees this happen and he's just like, you know what? I might keep it. Oh, no. You're giving just me start- ideas, man. You see enemies like charging over the horizon, and you literally just uh, untie the bag and pitch it at them. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Gosh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> anyway, so with that plan settled, anyone else gonna say anything else or skip to the next day? Uh, there's no opportunity here. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll skip to the next day. Okay. Come morning, the sun is up. It's around nine o'clock when you guys get up. You guys decide to sleep in a little bit. <laughs> Those bubbles <laughs> and a random cat. <laughs> Maxie's back. <laughs> She's sitting on me right now. She's kneading on my shoulder. Oh, wonderful. Anyway, you guys pack up and start heading. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, who's rolling next? It is Damios. Roll me a 1d100. Yeah, right. 73. Hello. And your sunshine oh, head of my way. Oh, dear. <laughs> Okay, um, as you guys approach the city, you see a group of, you see a couple elves and a human making off with a tarp-covered object on a cart. Making off with as in running away with it? Yes. Okay. 
Uh, okay, they seem to be well, running, oh, to be running oh. very fast. As if they're a... Uh, Where's the fire? And then you see three guards. Stop! Running after them. Stop, you violated the law. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm, Silentium. Could you, like, throw a dart aiming at, like, their leg or something? Try and you chip try. one of them up? You can try. But, uh, are, they, was... are they on are they on foot or are they they're on foot one of them it, two of them are in the cart with the object one of them or one of them is running like it's a wheelbarrow uh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll shoot a, I'll shoot a dart at the guy running with the wheelbarrow okay roll with disadvantage so roll with disadvantage since you're aiming for a specific part and he's mu- moving oh, okay. okay sorry here let me roll with disadvantage then Hip-hip. Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> you miss, and you accidentally hit one of the guards. Oh, it's going. Now you oh, violated right. the law. Da! What the? <gasps> I'm so sorry, sir. Just trying to help. I was trying to catch the people running. I'm so sorry. It's fine, lass. We got it. It's fine. We got it. And he says this as the two other guards are running. And you see one of the guards throw his spear. And it lands in front of the dude. Who just kind of skids to a halt while the while one of the other guards catches up and grabs onto one of the uh, thieves' shirts and a scuffle ensues. <laughs> should we help or should have or have we helped plenty? <laughs> uh, I think I could join. <laughs> Seffel. No no, I say they've got it. <laughs> I'm yes, just like fun. My so, fin- uh, all my fingertips are together, and I'm just like, yes, this is this is brilliant television. <laughs> <laughs> Seth Seth looks at Raruk and goes, "Want to jump in? Yeah. Let's jump in." Oh dear! Fight by <sighs> fight by. Oh dear. Okay, roll for initiative. Those who are joining the fight. Uh, damn it! Hold on. Well, well, I not. mean, it's not like a fight, fight. So I guess <laughs> ah, ah, it hurts. Okay. Let's see. I assume Daisy's is going to sit back. Yeah, Daisy doesn't want any involvement in this. <laughs> <laughs> no. She's the only one clever enough. I'm literally only joining because I had an idea of how to deal with it, and I feel like it would work. Slendium just wants to make up for the dart incident. Yeah. Burn is not so far forward that the problem is resolved by the time I, you know... (laughs) I was totally expecting her to get arrested, though. (laughs) Yeah, that's why she immediately apologized, because she didn't want to get arrested. Stop! You violated the... He gets hit by a dart. <laughs> he just turns around. Stop! You violated. <laughs> Stop. Like I could just violate the law. <laughs> so pay your fine or serve your sentence. Okay. So first up, forfeit. first up is Seth. Okay. Uh. I'm trying to think of something here. Uh. Seth jumps in, grabs a quarter staff from the back of the cart, because he has one. Mm-hmm. And and takes a swing at one of the bandits. Okay. Come Roll on, to man. attack. <laughs> that is a hit. Okay. Uh, For seven damage, 
And which one are you hitting? The one that was pulling the cart or one of the two in the back? Uh, the one that was... Uh, whatever whatever one that uh, Silentium threw the dart at. The one in the cart, okay. I think. Okay, so the one pulling the cart? Yeah. And how are you swinging the quarterstaff? You did two-handed. Yes, but uh, I'm like, are you are you wanting to trip him up? Are you wanting to actually damage him? Uh, well, seeing as I jump, well, let's see. The I uh, trying to. Like, sorry, go ahead. No, say what you were gonna say. I was gonna say, are you like trying to bust his kneecaps or conk him on the back of the head? Mm-hmm. Uh, Essentially, try- non-lethal, or, non-lethal or lethal. You trying to kill um, him, or are you trying to incapacitate? Don't kill him. Definite, definitely non-lethal. Definitely mm-hmm. going the non-lethal route. Yeah, and we'll say you guys have to be specific if you're going non-lethal. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to incapacitate him. Okay. How so? Uh, by hitting him in the legs, making sure he can't. Okay, busting a kneecap or tripping him up. <laughs> well, he's gonna have he, if they get arrested, he's gonna have prison. So I'm uh, just on one leg, his right leg. Okay, I aim specifically for the right leg. Okay, you uh, hear a crack as Ooh, no, he. <laughs> <laughs> and he falls to the ground. Oh my word! And he falls to the ground, clutching his knee. Ah. Ah. Uh. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man! Uh, mm. Seth just, Seth just stand. He's like standing over him with a with a quarter staff. And one of the guards appears, and you know, is able to restrain him. And the two other guards are the two other guys are pretty spooked. They draw their daggers at uh, you guys. They're not giving up. God damn it! And Seth just goes, guys, don't, just don't. Roll intimidation. We really didn't have to get involved in this. <laughs> eh. Yeah, they're not scared of a four foot bird. Oh, we're coming after you next, you bub. Uh, and all right, and Salentium, your turn. All right. Well, I'm gonna shoot. No, actually, um, yeah, I guess I'll use an action to shoot a dart remember, at their shoulders. Okay. Remember, we're trying to do non-lethal here. I know. I know. I'm thinking really hard. I want to use my spear, but I shouldn't. <laughs> no. Use the dart to try and knock the daggers out of their hand. Can't yeah, do non lethal. Just... All I know is bonk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> just trip them. Non lethal. Oh, I know. Yeah, I'm going to just. Uh, I mean, you I'm could use the other end of one of their shoulders. You could use the other end of the staff to comp- conk them out. Yes, yeah, I'm going to throw a dart at one of them. Okay. And where are, you, where are you aiming? Uh, the shoulder. Okay, that's a hit. The dart goes into the shoulder and... Ah! <laughs> and then I'm going to use a bonus action as a key, to spend a key point to do flurry of blows on the other bandit. Ooh. Are you trying to be non-lethal? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah I'm going to knock his ass out. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah, yeah, too hard. Do your, In theory. Do your thing. Oof. Ooh. Those both miss. miss. Yep, he just they both nimble miss? Yeah, he just nimbly dodges, moving his head out of the way of your strikes. Well, don't I have multi attack now that I'm level five? Yes, you do. Yes, I'll throw you do. another dart at the guy after he dodges my flurry of blows. Okay. Shit. Yeah, the dart misses and sticks in the ground. And when you went for your first punch, you kind of it's tricky footing since he's on a cart and you're on the ground and you're on another cart you kind of stumble uh, and trip and you're kind of <laughs> you're knocked prone in front of the two shit mm-hmm. Baruch yeah. you're up 
<laughs> oh no. This is where the fun begins. No. <laughs> It is. Uh, it's not. I'm going to try to be non-lethal. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna but if cry. they die, don't get mad. <laughs> like I'm going to get mad. It's like <laughs> and you just you just hear Seth go, Rarook, take it easy on him. Okay, Rarook, what you just do? Welcome to the chest. If, if he dies, he dies. If he dies, hit him in the head. Hit him in the chest. Some of you may die, but that is a risk I am willing to take. <laughs> yeah, they have less of a chance if you hit him in the head to live. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm I'm gonna him. like sweep him across the side. Yeah, mm. like break some ribs instead of the, their skull. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I hit one with the great club, one with the crab club. Okay. Okay. I swear to God, if you get yeah. that. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, both of those. Why? Uh, These poor you're, dudes. Aiming at, you're aiming at one dude or or both? Uh, the great club is going at one. The cl- crab club is going for the other. Okay. And these. I guess if you really want to be fancy, I yeah, I'm gonna try to be non-lethal. Okay. Uh, I guess if you really want to be fancy, I could like try to conk them together. <laughs> if they're standing in the right way. Okay. So are you swiping them in the sides, or are you trying to conk their heads together? In the sides. Okay. So. And you knock both of them off of the cart away from Salentium, and the two other guards are able to restrain them. Uh, and the, one of the, the head guard, who seems to be the head guard leading the charge, comes up with the one that was with the cart limping. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, thanks. Whoever you are, where did you come from? Why are you doing this? <laughs> we just want to welcome. Out, man. They're not exactly yeah. sure where you guys came from or what what the whole point of that was. But um, they start taking the cart and the thieves back into the city to. Salonsian so picks up her darts. Okay. I'm just gonna look over at Seth and Salonsian and say, "You're welcome." <laughs> I. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Rarook, for saving me after I fell. I mean, I feel like this all could have been avoided if we just didn't interact with that at all. Oh, that be- might have. Hey, you didn't even do anything. I didn't get a chance. <laughs> yeah, they they might have been like trying. That that might have been like a magic artifact or something underneath. That. We just wanted to help. I thought it would yeah. be fun. Aren't we? Yeah, aren't we? That, to- no, hold on. Hold on. That is the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, fair point, but. <laughs> <laughs> if it's how it I, feels, mm, how it feels. I'm not saying your feelings are wrong. I'm saying that they are mildly crazy. I was trying not to kill him, okay? Give me that at least. <laughs> I will give you that? Yeah, I I went non-lethal too, although that guy's probably not going to be able to walk. For- at least not correctly. Okay, but hear me out. What if the thing that they stole was like a wheelbarrow full of apples or something? <laughs> Which I know, Rarook, I know. But, hear me out. <laughs> if that's all they did, they deserve to not walk for months. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm, I'm basically... This is... So anyway, that... That could have been... Uh, they could have been stealing a magic artifact or something. Again, they could have also been stealing a random card of apples. Wouldn't have been that bad. We have not checked. <laughs> not like we got a chance to. The card's already gone. Is it? <laughs> Did they leave with it? Yeah, they already left yeah, they with the thieves the and the cart. Okay. The, guard, the guards left with the cart. Yep. They're yeah. back okay, in the city. yeah. I wasn't sure if she actually said they had. Yep. Yep. No, they, they, they left with the card and the thieves. Yep. Well, maybe it would do us well to ask once we're inside. If it makes you feel better, 
<laughs> we go in. He, they're just like, they stole the entire power source for the town. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right. <laughs> and you guys, My point still stands, but that's fair. You guys head into uh, Farthingale once again. Haven't uh, been here for quite a long time. Indeed. By the time you get into the town, it is about 1 p.m. Crazy how the bird uh, went into the void. <laughs> He's just sitting there in a white <laughs> void, super confused. <laughs> is, this, is this the town? <laughs> wow. Wow, this place got way worse. <laughs> um... Where can we go to, like, get the bag cleaned? The <laughs> bag of refrigeration? That actually would be a Mario shop. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, <laughs> man, no. dear. I don't want to do anyways, so. Hey, guys. You remember how he wanted to clean the bag? Uh, have you considered yeah. that we passed by the shop of the exact person that might have been able to do that very thing? <laughs> think so I could just wash it out few, he, he like pauses for a few minutes and then he goes oh son of a <laughs> you think I can just wash it out in like the lake or whatever uh, the it ocean. might make it a little bit better but it, I, mean, I mean it might be a marked improvement you can try <laughs> alright yep. okay I'm gonna over this way. <laughs> Wash off those apples. Uh, try to force back the. Oh no! The, the apples are gone. The apples are gone. Yeah, no more apples. Yeah, no. <laughs> the apples and, are. No. And I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, so just to be clear, canonically, hold my breath he, as I open the bag. <laughs> just to be clear, canonically, he rolled so high that he just straight up didn't smell it, and he just ate the apple yeah. without thinking about it at all, <laughs> yeah. not looking at the fact that there was blood on it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <clears throat> These taste a little more metallic than they usually do. <laughs> yeah, I'm going I'm gonna hold my breath, open the bag, and just dunk it in the water. Just Okay. You see the blood rushing out into the open water. And people it. people are kinda looking at you. How much blood was in that bag? The crazy person. You mean the crazy person dumping the blood into the water? Crazy. I don't know. Who would, yeah. who would question that? Yeah. No, no. seriously. How much blood was in that bag? Uh, uh, approximately two gallons. Enough for, like enough for a few minutes of ogre head stuck? Ah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> About as much as the head of an ogre can hold. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. And you see two guards walk up to you. Uh, sir, what are you doing? Putting out this bag, I put an ogre head in it. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to the point. It's uh, fucking with me. Roll persuasion. Oh, persuasion. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, sh Come on. Oh, oh, no. You know, this party has a really hard time convincing people of things that are literally true. I know, I know. We're, we're the best liars because nobody believes the truth. <laughs> well, no, when I tell actual lies, I fail, even though I have a really decent modifier on that exact role. Mm. Okay, uh, they kind of look at each other. Sir, you can't dump blood into the lake. Also, an ogre? Where would you find an ogre? Sir, this area is not zoned for blood dumping. <laughs> if you could go to the designated blood dumping area. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it wasn't anywhere around here. It was, it was, in, a, it was in a different city. You see the other guard take out a, a couple of manticles. Okay, we're gonna have to ask you to come with us. 
You realize that telling them that is the equivalent of saying that the ogre was in Canada. You wouldn't know it. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to come with us. And they're going to attempt to shackle you. I mean, there's no real point in adding it. <laughs> okay. It's just going to make the situation worse. Okay. And... And no one aren't going funny. to know that. You know what's really funny? I'm gonna kick I you really swore I was gonna be arrested first. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got arrested for yep. uh, trying to clean out a bag. And you blood. guys you guys glance and see Rook being led in chains by two guards. Uh, Rook so, Seth is like What? 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 Hey! Well that's a fair Sight, what did you do? Hey! Exactly what I said I was going to do. The guard stopped. It's and been like up. five minutes. Uh, hmm? Excuse me, sir, is um what I mean, why are you arresting him? He with you. Yeah, yes, he, he, he he's with us. We caught him dumping blood in the in the ocean. I think oh, he might have murdered not, someone. Uh, no, no. Um, he, he absolutely he, didn't murder anyone. Well, did he didn't tell, murder anyone. Said did something about an ogre? Yeah, yes. that was, yes. Yes, it was. That's uh, actually mind. absolutely true. They kind of look at all of you, especially you, da Sterling. Damios, they kind of look at you with squinted eyes. Look, I know I don't come off as the most trustworthy guy, and that is completely fair. But in this instance, he did not commit a crime. I don't know why, but I trust the drow. <laughs> All right, well, you didn't have to be... All right, never mind, never mind, it's fine. The other, the other guy kind of looks at him and shrugs. Keep an eye on your friend. And they unshackle Rarook and go off on their way. Oh, uh... That they were in your sight, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. That was something. I did it. I rolled a decent persuasion roll. It happened. <laughs> there you go. It has to be, like, the first one. Mm-hmm. Like and it's me, the ever. most untrustworthy person in the group, trying well, the to convince is, someone that the other ones didn't commit a crime. Well, Damius, right? Damius, the thing is, orcs don't have a good reputation either. Uh, yeah, yeah but like... I think yeah, they but would like, trust the half orc long before a drow. He's, He's not untru- yeah. I feel like that's not un mistrust so much as it is, like, I guess... Is it because they're, like, predisposed to violence or something? <laughs> like, I'm just perceived as straight-up evil, right? Yeah. You are perceived as straight-up evil, but you rolled so high in your persuasion that they just... They were so perplexed that a drow would even stick up for someone. Yeah. <laughs> What he's useful. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly that's something the draw would say. <laughs> that's, that's something, something a rogue would say. Mm -hmm. That's something a rogue would say. There you go. Literally, even literally, even if I cared, which I will not say whether or not I do, I would never <laughs> admit it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have Farouk back. What are you guys gonna do? Farouk, oh, I will gonna say. Go to I will say the bag go. is now clean. Straight to the headquarters. <laughs> the bag's clean now? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay. As clean as it can be. Other than the two uh, other two gallons of blood at the bottom, but like those are really far in. No, no it won't be a problem. <laughs> <sighs> it still smells yeah, a little sure. bit of blood, but uh, you got the blood out. <laughs> it doesn't smell like rotting blood now. It just smells a little of iron. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's sure okay. it should be fine. <laughs> Yeah, just, just don't temple. open it. Just don't open it. Yep, the temple yeah, is over come. here. Ever again. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, let's All get All right. Go. Let's go to the temple. <laughs> boy, oh 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 boy. Where are our tokens go? There they are. Um. 
Okay. Everybody uh, yes, Damio saying his teleporting abilities. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody super sonic racing. <laughs> There's Seth who's over in the trees. Because I'm a bird. Caw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Caw, <Okay>. motherfucker! <laughs> Yeah, you guys make it into the temple. I just imagine him putting on sunglasses. It's really it, the image in my head was really funny. It was just him putting on sun, sunglasses after having shot a fireball and just being like, "Kaka, motherfucker!" as he turns away from the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> to be found later in campaign art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving you have on. to successfully do a fireball first. You haven't gotten a chance. <laughs> no, not yet. Hey, yeah. this is the perfect time for Daisy to come back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to tell her what happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can definitely take know, a little break. I almost break got a rest. We can de- definitely take a little break. Uh, I'll pause the recording. So you. Okay. And we're back. Okay, so you guys enter the building, and you see Tamiri sitting on a pew, just kind of lounging. Uh, Lulumu's looking over uh, the mission book, and Philodesia is sitting off to the, and is standing off to the side. And she notices you guys come in. Oh, you're finally back. Hey, Philodesia. Greetings. How was your trips? I kind of, I kind of want to walk in and say, "Hey, guess who almost got arrested?" <laughs> but that, that wouldn't be very in character. <laughs> I don't know. I think it'd be kind of funny. Back. Hello. <laughs> Called it. Greetings, Philadelphia, Lulamu, Tamiri. Good afternoon. Hello. Oh, it's so good to see you. Again, Daisy. How is everything? I haven't seen you since your since your latest mission. Things are going all right. I've kind of joined this party in their adventures as of late. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She she kind of has. Philodesia save gives my you ass, a, save Phil- your ass. Save. <laughs> Philodesia gives you a knowing smile, Seth. Oh, Lulumi told me all about it. <laughs> Congratulations. I have a question. Is uh, there anyone who doesn't know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a rumor that's been going around. <laughs> Let me Wait, guess. Why Lulu told you? Indeed. Oh. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> well, to be fair, because you at got least to it I first. can sit in my corner and rake in those sweet, sweet I knew first points. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, Zulu told first while she was drunk. She loses the smile and kind of looks in the uh, Hey, uh, speaking of, speaking of Zulu, where is she? Oh, she's on an errand in Briar Glen right now. Oh. She should be back any time. Oh, okay. Hopefully oh, sober. Yes, I made Doubtful. sure of that. I made sure of that. Good to hear. <sighs> yeah. I don't want I'm another not. fiasco like that carnival. <laughs> Did her liver ever recover from that, or...? Huh? No. <laughs> the carnival. Right. Hmm. Uh... Yeah, how, how was she after that? You see Philodesia just kind of turn her head towards Lulamu, who blushes and kind of sinks into her chair. <laughs> It went oh. about as well as you expected. That bad, huh? <laughs> Wait. What? Oh. Both of them. Drunk off their asses. 
Um, wow. Uh, all Jimmy. right then. Thank you, Tamiri. For... To be fair, they were very stiff competition. <laughs> oh no, not you two. <laughs> yes, uh, Damio and Steph both entered that drinking contest as well. I that almost won. Point. I almost won. I, I was almost proud of him, and then I, I wasn't. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I almost won. It. I don't know why I'm proud of that. Please don't make it a habit. Uh, I would have joined, but I wanted to fight that lion, dude. Trust, trust me, I don't intend to make that a habit. Okay, I did good. not like myself after I got sober. To be fair, that was the first and only time that I have entered that competition. You bet it will be uh, the only time. But you won it! <laughs> that is just straight... Uh, you know what? That's just straight up unfair. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's unfair was me beating both of them in a climbing competition in chainmail armor. Oh, I did hear about yeah, that. Yeah, that was funny. Right. All right, Miss Fancy <laughs> D's. Daisy I'm just smirked a bit over at, at Lulamu and Tamiri. I am very proud of you. She pats you on the head, Daisy. <laughs> She's oh, yeah. the only one at that entire thing who did anything worth being actually proud of. <laughs> hey, I beat that line, dude. Yeah. Okay, okay uh -huh. I'm sorry. I forgot about you. You're right. <laughs> oh. Because, like... Seth and I both did, you know, terribly at the, like, actual competitions, and the one thing that he almost won is, like, not anything to be proud of. Meanwhile, you ricocheted a dart into someone's rear end. <laughs> yes, I did. It hey, what did you got? Like you all laughed. It sounds like you've had an eventful Those day. Uh, oh. yeah, I, uh, I'd say it was pretty eventful. Pretty, uh, well, it was, uh, eventful for one reason and then, uh, one, another one. Yeah, and then I almost got arrested on my way in. What for? I used uh, my magical persuasion skills to get him out of it. <laughs> Don't have to thank me. Uh, okay, so we're in. It's Farthingale, right? Yes. Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. We were in Farthingale. Yes, that is And we more. killed an ogre. Oh, that was in Sterling as when we killed that an was in ogre. Sterling. 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 Yeah. We're in Sterling. Ah, yes. A new episode of Rook doesn't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> went to, we were in Sterling. We killed an ogre. Cut off its head because we needed Evans. Don't worry about it. It's a long story. And then uh, I had a lot of blood left in it in the bag. I went off the lake to or the ocean to clean out the bag. Art thought I killed someone. He didn't believe I killed an ogre. And they tried to take me in. Oh. I, it's been an eventful day. I did hear about the mine. <laughs> uh, and yes. it's only 1 p.m. <laughs> Indeed. She does look a little bit worried. Oh, it's that late already. Um, anyway, are you planning to stay the night? Tonight? Uh, yeah, we are. We are. Oh. Alright then, oh, splendid. So, Antim, are you sure you will be okay? I think so. All right. Um, we do have some the uh, roof you need. Yeah. Th uh, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, I think I'll be fine. All right. Okay, I've been meaning to ask this question because everyone fought me on this. How soundproof is the basement? We don't have a basement. 
We are not locking Salentium in the basement for the night. It isn't even a basement See? here, it's a cave. See? That's what I said. That's what I said from the beginning. There is always a soundproof basement somewhere. Here. I mean, it's a cave. You're in a building, Ravruk. You're in a We're cathedral. fully in a building, by the way. <laughs> but... yeah, you're in a church. Look, man, the other church that we were having a very difficult time in had a basement. To be fair, it was very large, but still, it had a basement. I It's a reasonable assumption. Do you see a door to a basement anywhere? We haven't been here in, like, two weeks. <laughs> still, do you see a door to a basement? I mean, the only other secret passage would be the one that Zulu uses. And we all know from Zulu's singing incident that those are not soundproof. <laughs> no. That is completely fair. <laughs> and there might be some creepy crawlies in there. Exactly. Plus, if Silentium... I would know. Uh, well, plus, if Silentium breaks free of the ropes and goes through that tunnel, there's no telling where she'd end up. That's also fair, though I do feel like it's still a justifiable concern that if she break, like I mean, yeah, well, I know where it goes. It's a Briar Glen. It's a long way walking for a person who doesn't run at the uh, speed of sound, uh, fueled by sixteen thousand whiskeys a morning. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I. That okay. picked up. I sneezed. It's okay. <clears throat> Bless you. Speaking so, of which, she, she should be here by now. She's starting to pace know. a little bit. Oh boy. Daisy looks over at Salentium. You know, I do. I did. Lo- I did learn a new spell recently that might be able to help this situation a little. Really? Oh, you learned a new spell. Yes, yeah, specifically for removing curses. I don't know if it'll affect one this powerful, but it might be worth a try at least. Yes. Pilodesia notices and watches with interest. Shall I, shall we cast it now or should we maybe move someplace else? I think... Honestly, honestly if we're we're in a church I think the best place to do a remove curse spell would would be right here. It is sanctified ground after all. All right, then. Just Damios, Seth, give us a little space just in case something goes wrong. Uh, yeah. Daisy closes her eyes and takes a breath as she places her palms on Salentium's shoulders before casting Remove Curse. Okay. You feel a warmth come over your body, Salentium, and a tingling in your chest that quickly turns to a burning pain. Like heartburn. <clears throat> and it gets more intense until it feels like your chest is on fire. <sighs> and when the <sighs> spell ends, you don't feel, you don't feel any different. <sighs> the per- the burning goes away slowly. But the scar remains. Did... Did it work? Silentium lifts the collar of her shirt up to look inside and sees that the scar is still there. I don't know if it went away. Perhaps we should go through the same precautions as usual. But maybe, who knows, something might help. Yeah. 
I mean, it looked like it did something. It hurt. Well, Jaludija looks a little, a little bit. bit. Everyone uh, looking at you looks a little bit disappointed. I am sorry, Solentium. It's all right. I guess the curse is just that powerful. To be fair, you were cursed by a god. Well, That's true. like I said before, we'll find another way. Speaking of which, did you ever find anything on Blood Clan? Um. <laughs> We haven't found anything specific um, in the church. In the church over in Sterling, if we, I'm sure you, I'm sure Lulumu has already filled you in on that situation. Yes, I did. But there was one thing. I went back in before the carnival, and she's gonna go to you, Daisy, and she's going to hold up a torn piece of the robes from the cult from the wannabe cultists you see it's as if someone who either was very undexterous or a child drew this in whatever kind of ink or whatever is on it but it looks like a very crude drawing of an owl head <laughs> That is, Daisy shudders for a moment before holding her, holding her arm with her other hand. I see. And Lulu takes hey, the uh, hey, thing back. Daisy, Daisy, hey, hey. That's Steph, all right. Seth holds her. Seth holds her hand. You okay? Yes, I'm all right. I just, it just brought some memory. I'll be okay. It's okay. I, I'm I'm here. Just hold my hand if you need to. Of course. <sighs> we did intent. We did find out something else. A potential lead in Wallowdale that Prule told me about. Uh, my. My apologies. Um, I actually, uh, she, I last saw her in Brighter Glen. Oh, in her shop. Yes. Oh, that explains where she's been. Uh, why didn't she come to us? She was unable to complete her mission down in Wallowdale. She told. She said she was expecting some travelers, and it appeared. It, Apparently, it was this party before before she was planning to come and tell you? But I said I would pick up the mission for her to finish it. Oh, so you're going to complete the mission? Yes. All right. And she marks that down in the book. What? Whatever that mission is. It is to investigate some bandits that have been stealing food, supplies, gold, belongings of the farmers in Wallowdale. We believe they are oh. hiding out in the forest. Prule said when she when she attempted the mission there she might have found a potential link to Blood Clan there, but everyone she there wasn't looks sure. surprised. Who <laughs> looks surprised? Everyone. Oh. The three of them all look surprised. That is? Really? It's so it's only a speculation. She isn't entire she wasn't entirely sure, but I do intend to look into it along with the rest of this party. I see. Is there anything else? Any strangers? Any strange creatures or strange people? 
There was a group of religious people that we ran into um, like yesterday. They were trying to talk to us about a new god of theirs, but their sales pitch was exactly stellar. Oh, dear. Where yeah, we? it was... Uh, they were kind of all over the place. Where were they heading? Very poorly rehearsed. They couldn't even manage to tell us its name. Or even what animal the god was. Yeah. I have a feeling you just ran into a group of blood clan cultists. What? They could be they could be talking about the owl as well. Mm-hmm. That's what I was uh, thinking. Some of the priests have some of the priests have that we've met in churches and other villages have mentioned it seems as though a new god is trying to force their way into the into the current pantheon. So you felt it too. In more ways than I would like. Uh, crap. As you guys each of us hmm? has each of us has kind of experienced something. Messages. She tilts her head. Experienced. <laughs> More like nightmares. I, I I mean I had a pretty pretty pleasant conversation all in all. Now that you mention it, Damios, Damios feel... was. Hmm? Now that you mention it, Damios, I do feel a dark aura around you. A very familiar one. You know, until you said familiar, I was going to say that sounded really familiar. <laughs> like I've heard it before. Damios was contacted by Chodius. Her eyes widen I myself. A bit. I'm sorry. Her eyes widen a little bit, and she looks to you. Go on. Seth had a had a kind of conversation with Kadum. I myself was contacted by Tukaris. I see. We have not heard, we have, as far as I am aware, we have not heard anything from Vanja. Hmm. And I received a contact from the owl itself. What did it say? You did say it was what gave you your scar, correct? Yeah. Well, I thought it was, but it told me, do not mistake the actions of my disciple for his Sorry, my disciples for my ideals. So I don't know really what to believe anymore. I thought it was him at first, but I guess it was a follower or some kind of offshoot of him. Unless he was, unless he was referring to Blood Clan, they seem to worship him. Uh, what if one of his followers? is connected to blood clan and oh crap one of his followers gave you that it also said that multiple people across the multiple planes have been cursed in the way that i have been so wait there's others like you mm -hmm. oh boy I can say from experience that there are, indeed. It's why we weren't exactly surprised to learn of your curse. I see you've heard of it before. Yes, unfortunately. So, well, well, that just... I know everyone is. A, I don't know if everybody else is thinking this. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. What if all of the blood? What if all of the blood clan people 
have the exact same curse as Silentium does. Like every one of them. And they'd be tearing each other apart every eight days. Right. I agree. No one really keeps their right. sanity in that state. But to be fair, though, we don't know much about the curse. It could be that members who ha- who all share the curse, if they experience on the same day, they may not attack each other. Kind of like a hive mind of sorts. We've never had her in the same room with another one. That is true. So as far as we all know, possibilities are open and near endless. As you guys are speaking, you hear the familiar pitter-patter. I'm back! <laughs> ah! Oh. And Told you she'd be back. It's Zulu carrying a box. Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? She puts it on the counter. Oh, uh, just some, uh, snacks for later. Browsy donuts. How did you know? <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Seth laughs. <laughs> Wait, I was right? Uh, yeah. I, uh, got a few drowsy donuts for tonight. <laughs> uh, lucky guess. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that to actually be what was in the box. Amy. <laughs> Zulu does enjoy her confections. Oh well, yeah, we uh, we also uh, have trouble sleeping sometimes. You know how it is. <laughs> uh huh. Speaking of which, it's uh starting to get late. <clears throat> we should we should start heading to bed. You see outside, it is uh, the sun is setting. <clears throat> oh, in fact, I think wow, that means that one uh, conversation took way longer than I thought. Mm-hmm. I think we should get going. Okay, we've got a day, don't we? No, nope. uh, today, oh, tonight, today. Is tonight. Oh, it's today. Is it? Yep. Yeah, oh, it's night. yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, we were so arguing we'll... about it at night. For some reason, yeah. I was <laughs> losing track so, of how much time it actually passed. So, Baruch and Salentium, you're going to head out of the town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. Hey, uh, are you guys? You guys? You guys are sure you're gonna be okay? Yeah, I believe so. All right, Rebu, just take care of her and yourself. Okay. See what I can do. Okay. We're gonna move outside to Rebu and Salentium for now. All right. So you got you two head outside the town a couple miles out. You don't go too far, but you do go don't across a little grove of trees. This should, this should be a good place. Hmm? All right. And I'm going to tear up like last time. Okay. Tying them sure, down. You, all our those, limbs are... lose, use those skills you learned in the half orc <laughs> boy scouts. <laughs> half orc boy scouts. Half orc boy scouts. Mm. Uh, is there anything I should roll? Maybe survival? Um, yeah, go ahead and roll me a survival check with advantage. With advantage. Oh, yeah. You make sure the ropes are nice and tight. Make sure that they're not where any where she could uh, bite them. Yep. Okay. And now we move back to inside the temple. Shouldn't I do a strength check to check and that's see if when, I break free the rope? That's when you're in the state. You're not in the okay. state yet. It's okay. not. That's it's not fully night yet. Yeah. The moon, the moon isn't out yet. Uh, we should get ourselves to bed too. You all should head upstairs. Indeed. Uh, uh, hello, Deja. If I yes? could talk with you a bit tonight in private. Um, tonight might not be very good. Um, we should we could talk in the morning before everyone else wakes up. 
okay? All right. Besides, I'm going to be honest. I haven't been sleeping all too well. I'm about to have one of these very, very soon. We all go get some rest, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go get some rest. We we will be uh, spending the night down here, so you all can head upstairs. Lulamu, may I uh, speak to you over here in private? And Lulamu walks over. So you three are heading upstairs? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we shall retire for the night. Be well. You too. Yeah. And, uh, Damios, roll me a perception check. Oh. You don't hear much, but what you hear of what Philodesia says... Don't let them come out. Well, that's interesting and very threatening. Okay. <sighs> Train? Train. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so you all head up to your rooms. Uh, Seth, if you don't mind, I'll probably sleep on my own tonight since I intend to get up early. I wouldn't want to rouse you. Um, I... Okay, I'll, uh... Uh, yeah, you, um, get some rest, I'll, uh... I'll, I'll sleep in another nope. room tonight. Thank you, sir. I love that the first time you sl yeah, you you both sleep in a place where there are walls is this is when you ask this. <laughs> that that is the <laughs> true <laughs> mark of a good wholesome relationship with nothing else. Daisy smiles as she leans down and gives Seth a little kiss on top of his head before going over to her bed and starting to remove her armor. Uh Seth leaves to give her privacy. And Seth, as you're as you're walking, give me a perception check. Perception check. Mm hmm. Damn. Okay. You do hear a small little, t but nothing else. Uh. Not sure where it came from. Silentium, as it starts to get darker, give me a strength check. All right. A check or a saving throw? Check. Check? Okay. Mm -hmm. Strength check. Okay. Yep. You are bound. You cannot get out. Yeah. I ain't going as nowhere. You start, as you start to feel the curse take over. And you actually yeah. hear the voice sounds familiar this time. It is a terrible night to have a curse. Dun, 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 Here we go. Dun, 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 and it starts to take over as you feel your sanity fade. Seth, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. What are you doing, I'm just Seth? Looking out the window. Okay, give me another perception right. check. Damn. You hear oh. nothing. And Damius, oh. what are you doing? I am gonna walk downstairs. <laughs> As you start heading toward the stairs, passing by Seth, who's looking out the window, there's a trap door where the stairs would be. It's locked. Ah. What? Well, Damius, what, what are you doing? Now? Interesting. What's interesting? There, the stairs, they're kind of, um, locked. What? And what are your passive perceptions? Twelve. Uh, let me see, sorry. Uh, mine's a twelve. Mm -hmm. Am I the only one who has a good passive 14. perception over here? I have like a seven, 
I thought. Uh, six Mine's or 17. Seven. <laughs> Mine's 17, too. Oh, Daisy, so you actually would hear this. And Damien's oh, yeah. yours? 14. And yeah, you would hear that, too. You hear... You hear thumping downstairs as if a struggle. And that is even more interesting. Oh, no. What the heck is that? Daisy hears the struggling from, like, the sound of a struggle from her room as she puts some simple clothes on, grabbing her mason shield as she heads over to look. What do I, what do I roll for a lockpick? Your thieves' tools. Oh, yeah, I forgot. They're just <laughs> down here. <laughs> I always forget that they're, like, actually just there. You managed to pick the lock. Just barely. It takes you, like, a couple minutes, but you managed to do it. it and the hatch is able to open. God, it's been a bit since I've done that. <laughs> What's going uh, on? Don't know. There's, like, a, there's a trap door. That's just the like, Damio's just opened it. I not entirely sure we should be doing that. Doing things I'm not entirely sure I should do is the very name of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Three All right. <laughs> well, when you put it that way. Okay. Okay, so what's the marching order here? Probably Damio's first, then me, then Seth. Okay. Yeah. How we kind of stacked up. Okay. So, as you guys all go down the stairs, first thing you see is Lulumu, dead asleep on her desk, <laughs> with little crumbs and a half-eaten drowsy donut. Tamiri mm, and Zulu are on the pews, sleeping as, as well, with drowsy donuts in their hands, just kind of limp. And then you see Philodesia off to the side, bound with ropes and chains and a gag, struggling. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, and the much. rope is starting to snap. I'm just going to... <laughs> I'm going to whisper so that, you know, she doesn't notice us and struggle more, <laughs> like, immediately. So, you remember that thing that I said about not having two of them in the same room? Uh, yeah. Well, we're very lucky the other one isn't here right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Rope snaps. She rolled a 19 hour strength check. <laughs> I'm just gonna what jump about the back. And, <laughs> and you'll hear as the hooves come forth and she runs into the wall as she tried to charge at you. And she rips the gag off of her. Daisy quickly pulls her shield up in front of her just in case of an attack. <laughs> So, yeah. Did you feel real stupid for lockpicking that now? <laughs> no, because now we know, and now the plot can continue in a much more interesting direction. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, Daisy, I don't know. Up, so, Daisy, you pull up your shield? Yeah, I brought my shield up. <laughs> okay. Let me just pull out of, out of in Out of instinct, Seth's talons deploy. Ooh, make an attack roll if you're going to attack her. No, no, no. That's mm. it. They're like out of instinct. It's like, tsk. stay behind me. The second I saw it, I jumped out of the way. <laughs> like I jumped <laughs> back onto the. Side. Yeah. Hmm. And Seth is. Well, Seth was behind Daisy anyway, but he but he kind of he kind of looks past the shield, looks at Phil what the hell? She's cursed too? This must be why she didn't want us. So why she didn't want to talk tonight. That must be why, they, why she said not to let us out. <laughs> Wait, she said that? When? That's what I heard. We can have this conversation later. And she is going to try to punch the shield. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Ha. It just kind of bounces off. It's like in this frenzied state, she isn't nearly as powerful as when she's actually trying. Give me a flash! <laughs> you just Oh my her. god! Stop! Damien, try to try to get the others to, in a safe area! She, she then tries to shove um, Phil, uh, Philadelphia against the against the pew behind her. Uh, got it. You see her Boy. just kind of stumble oh. back, and Tamiri slowly wakes up. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Tamiri, she's cursed too. Get away from her. I know. That. We've been new. I know that. Move! I don't no. Over. Don't move. They react to movement. Oh. What? <laughs> and she's going to try to attack you, Damios. Um What would I roll to attempt to dodge? Uh you Is that athletics have... or acrobatics? Uh you could roll say, acrobatics. You... Don't you have uncanny dodge? Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, I do! Yeah. <laughs> well, she doesn't hit anyway. Oh. She doesn't hit anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm still gonna yeah. jump over here. Yep. Okay. You just see Spittle... Just... You see Spittle and just kind of claw marks being left on the desk. This is gonna be weird to say, but this is much less effective than what I've seen her do before. <laughs> Worry about that later. <laughs> She's in a frenzy. She can't act on her full power. Well, I suppose that's a good thing. As everything stops moving, she kind of looks around. And Tamiri mm. is shivering a little bit. But she's staying perfectly still, just kind of looking at you three. What did you do? All we did was come downstairs. We heard, we heard the something moving around. We thought we'd investigate because we knew you were down here. That is why we locked you up there. <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> you locked us up there. It was our only chance. <laughs> You could have told us. Why didn't you tell us? She didn't want anyone to know. I feel like this would have been a good warning to have. <laughs> Tamiri. Tamiri, we're already dealing with one curse bearer as it is. This, this is relevant information. I know now. <laughs> oh, you know now. Great. <laughs> Well, I've oh, known you know I've, now. I've known that she's had the curse for a while, but she begged me to not tell anyone. Demiri, if someone tells you that they hid 500 pieces of gold in a tree and told you not to tell them, would you tell them? Like, would you tell someone? You know what? Actually, that's a really bad example. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It could be like a lifesaver or something. It, it doesn't matter. What, 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 just never mind. What matters is she's a curse bearer. You tell people that, especially us. It's not <gasps> her fault, Seth. I don't care if it's not her fault. I've. I was just starting to trust these people. And I still do. They have their reasons. Okay. While you guys are discussing, Tamiri is going to jump onto Philodesia's back. I, what? <sighs> Why? No. With rope in hand. And. You watch as she wraps the rope around once, twice, three times, and her arms are suddenly pinned to her sides, and she rears up. 
to try to buck Tamiri off. <laughs> To no avail, and she rolled a 30. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What? Plus 15 to acrobatics, man. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> when, they're in, when they're in a frenzied state, I guess they roll with disadvantage or something? Mm-hmm. Ah, that makes sense. Well, Tamiri rolled a 30 on her acrobatics check, too. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, what no. I was upset about. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> And she ties the knots extra tight and ting! You watch as she uses the blunt end of her rapier to knock Philodesia to the ground. (sighs) 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 Are you okay? I'm fine. Are you okay? I'm fine. It isn't my first rodeo. Ha 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 ha. If I hadn't just experienced that, I would have laughed. Look. Well, I guess this is the kind of thing she didn't want people hearing. <sighs> While that's going on, we're going to turn to Solentium and Raruk. Oh, you know what? That tracks. <laughs> <laughs> so, Auntie, make another straight. You track. were just sitting there quietly waiting for it to be your turn. You didn't expect it to be. <laughs> yeah, no, I was expecting yeah. it to be just like RP time for the rest of this <laughs> between you guys. And yep, you're still, I was just going to be. You're still tight. While you sit in your safe you're corner. Tight. Yep. <laughs> I'm just okay. sitting around a all fire, just staying out the night. Mm-hmm. Until I got Rook gonna be having a story to hear. <laughs> Both of yeah, you yeah. Doom. <laughs> okay. Like what the hell? <laughs> so how did your night with the cursed person go? Uh, what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I mean it was alright. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was passed out a so, couple times. So um our Rook, are you gonna do anything? Ex- except for stand around a f- or sit around a fire listening to the howls of Silentium. Uh, not really. Okay. I assume you're going to make me roll perception? Mm, you're, you're a couple miles away from town. Yeah, roll perception to see if you hear any of the mucking about that's going on in the church. I was going to say, that's a solid hmm, yeah, as that's in a solid I didn't no. think of that until you mentioned it. <laughs> that's, that's a solid hard. no. <laughs> I mean, hey, I could encounter. I could also encounter things that are, you know, in the woods. I ain't yeah, never heard he anything. Eh. Yeah, he could. He could, but the most but dangerous thing Solentium. out there is Silentium. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Very true. <laughs> Literally, yeah, not a good old-fashioned monk can't handle though. I know that he doesn't know that you just stand still and they and she can't like necessarily see you, but I love the idea of him literally just standing stock still, untying her ropes, and then sicking her on the wolves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he could. It would it, just untie his ropes and sticks himself into a T pose. <laughs> Just be like. I need to draw that now. Just Solent him going rabid wolf and rubber T posing behind a tree. Uh, (laughs) I am one with the tree. (laughs) It's literally just it's literally just his arms, but it's the tree with his arms. (laughs) (laughs) I gotta be poking out slightly so you can just see like half of my face just completely blank. (laughs) No, yeah. there's literally a hole in the tree where his face is. <laughs> it's like one of those things. He has like a fake tree costume. Oh my God. <laughs> fake tree costume. Okay, okay, that's actually funny. Okay, so that would be big group. What are you guys going to do? Now that Philodesia's knocked out, you got Tamiri there. Lulu and Zulu are still dead asleep. Tamiri, how long has this been going on? Daisy asks as she helps move Philodesia over to the pew so she's not just lying on the cold floor. Make a strength check. (laughs) 
Seth, you can't oh. move shit. And oh no! Wait, 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 wait! That was a that was a save. Okay. A... Okay. Uh, or I I clicked the wrong thing. My bad. Yeah. Just to click the one. No, still can't. Yeah, still that can't is not shit. better. <laughs> still can't lift shit. <laughs> you try. You place a wing <laughs> under her. I, I try. And, and you literally to... fall over. Uh, I go. I the, go. The, the the anger <laughs> flowing like through your head. Your hand out of the way. At the at the anger flowing through you from all the secret keeping, it just kind of throws you off as Daisy kind of moves her a little bit. It takes a lot of effort to move this freaking heavy ass horsewoman to the pews. Little <laughs> Deej is gonna remember that. <laughs> yeah, you got a negative one of strength, dude. <laughs> Stop trying. Uh, only getting worse. He just, he, he just well, keeps trying. Like she moves him a couple. She moves moves her a couple feet. He tries again. Doesn't work. Moves her another couple feet. Tries again. Doesn't work. <laughs> okay. I want to say it's been going on a few years. I don't know. Years. Years. I don't know. She didn't tell me how long this has been going on. Seems that. Did she ever tell you what co- what might have caused it? The same thing that caused Lentiums and how? Hmm. A dark colored owl with glowing glo- gold eyes. Yep, that fits the bill. That's yep. the same one I saw in my dreams. That's... So wait, you say she never told you how long this has been going on. Does this mean it's been going on as long as you've known her? Yes. Jeez. And... Finding out was hard. Oh, did oh. Lulu just wake up? <laughs> no, that was still to Mary. Oh. Uh, Finding out was hard. Wait, so you mean to tell me she recruited you into this secret society and never told you oh by the way I'm a curse bearer and every new moon I turn into a fleshy monster have fun God's a buff I I think she was only trying to protect us And how did you know how how did you know to tie her up? How did you know to do that? She didn't tell you, obviously. Or did she just allude to it one night? I mean, if I had to guess, it's the same way we figured it out. I got attacked, we almost died, and then we learned not to ever let that happen again. Yeah. That was an yeah, interesting pretty, day to pretty, meet all of you. Pretty much. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was. But to be fair, Lulumu met her before me. So Lulumu. Yes, I assume. And Lulumu didn't tell you? She did, but I didn't believe her. Oh. So trust is an issue as well. Well, trust has always been an issue with me. People would use me to do things. I... Daisy just I, gently puts a hand on Tamiri's shoulder at that. I... I didn't mean it like that. I assume she told someone. Maybe Lulumo? But... She just doesn't like people knowing. To be fair, fair, it's not thrilling information to learn about someone you've just met. Yeah, Yeah, it's not. Not to mention, Salentium didn't bring it up to us, either. We found out for ourselves, and we still trust her. Yeah, well... Trusting a friend is different. 
plus. And I've known Philadelphia myself about three years. Plus, that is part of the reason that she wants to get Blood Clan. She wants to try and reverse the curse. Yes. Or at least keep it from affecting others. Yes. Both. Right. She... It's why she was watching you with the spell. She has it herself. But she just thought that she wasn't powerful enough. She wanted to see if the spell worked. Mm -hmm. If maybe someone else casting the spell would help. I guess we can find that out from Rarook in the morning, if it did any help. Hmm. Right. Spoiler alert, it did not. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert, she's been screaming for wow. ten she's been screaming for about six hours now. I'm just standing here. <laughs> Are you sleeping, Rook? <laughs> Oh, believe me, I'm not sleeping. <laughs> we put just, him. Uh, we just keep putting him on guard duty, and he just <laughs> still learns to just sleep while it's happening. He's just like, uh, "Look, man, I know that knot was tied perfectly. If I die, it is 100 percent on me." <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a very Rook thing to do. I just uh, imagine. I just imagine him pulling out some small reading glasses and just reading a small book while he's <laughs> screaming. Just reading like like a pocket book. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he did recently learn how to read. Actually, mm. recently, spontaneously. <laughs> well, whatever the whatever the situation. <sighs> I'm. I'm going to bed. If anyone wants to tell me any more secrets, you know where to find me. Daisy looks over at Tamiri. It's been a long few weeks. He doesn't he doesn't mean anything wrong toward you, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll get over it, but I've noticed trust is a bit of an issue with that guy. I know why. But... Yeah, I have my own suspicions. I am not at liberty to reveal anything. I let people reveal as they please. It is not my place to. Indeed. That was understandable. I hope we didn't wake up anyone else with our emotion. The other two are still dead asleep. Mm. The most you get is a <laughs> from the Zulu as her foot twitches. <laughs> Sorry to have disturbed you. <laughs> but she's still dead asleep. <laughs> Daisy, meanwhile, looks, low, looks over at Lulamoo. Does she usually sleep on her desk like that? Yes. <laughs> She's usually watching uh, the most, so she takes the um, donut last. Uh. I see. I'm going to go check on Seth. Will you both be all right? I believe so. I got enough sleep. I'll watch over Philodesia. If she wakes again, do not be afraid to call on her. Right. Daisy makes her way upstairs. Okay. I am gonna step outside for a moment. All right. That door's locked, isn't it? Nope. So you lock us upstairs, but you don't lock the front door? <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they, they may be clever, but they're not that clever. <laughs> If someone walks in from the street and gets uh, rammed into oblivion, it, 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 that's well, the their doors, fault. The doors open inward. Oh, well, there you go. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I was still saying just someone comes into the church at night not realizing that it's, like, not in use anymore. And they just, they're just like, yes, I have come to confess my sins. <laughs> and then they get knocked 40 miles. <laughs> <laughs> Rev up those pews. <laughs> Jesus. I stole a mint when I was seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do when you're outside, Damios? Um, see. For the moment, I'm going to just wander the streets for a moment, kind of trying to wrap my head around the fact that this is just a thing that's been going on for, like, years. <laughs> okay. Daisy knocks on the door when she sees Seth inside. Seth? He, yeah. He's, he's writing in a journal. Are you okay? Not really, no. Do you want to talk about anything? I... <sighs> yeah. I might as well. Gets up and closes the door. And goes back and sits down. Here I was, here I was thinking I'd found, found something I could invest myself in, 100%. Now I feel like I've made a mistake. That I'm in over my head again. Just like it was all those years ago. What makes you think the task is too daunting? I don't know. The fact that... The fact that no one trusts me except you? So you don't think Rarook, Damios, Salentium, you don't think any of them trust you? I don't know. It just... It just feels like it's all happening again. What exactly is it that's repeating in your life, Seth? I... I don't know. I had a... I had a lot of things happen. But... I suppose... One thing that does stick out is the time my yes. best friend, mm -hmm. the one that I thought would be there for me every step of the way, stabbed me in the back, left me for dead, and cut out my eye. I fucking knew it. <laughs> God. Your side comments, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mackie can tell you this for a fact. I guessed this exact thing weeks ago. <laughs> Based on two pieces of information. <laughs> Keep going, Seth. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm back. Seth. Seth kind of rubs his he, he rubs his fake eye and as he does so Daisy can see um, Daisy can see the scar going across his eye has that ever happened to you as a friend has a friend betrayed you like that no well, I can't say I've been betrayed like that but I did just find out someone who I consider very close to me and a good friend has kept this curse from me for about three years. <laughs> so you know how it feels. 
in a way. I have a small understanding of what you were talking about. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's it's just it's just frustrating. She gently places a hand on his shoulder. I understand entirely. You feel like things are going in circles in your life that this might be happening again. I just but think of it like this though. While she may have kept a sec while she may have kept a large secret from all of us, it was one meant for our own for our own safety, as well as potentially her own, as opposed to one that was meant to harm others. There are many kinds of secrets, with many kinds of reasons. Some good, some bad. We all have things we don't want to tell others. I found Shadowfell. Daisy kind of sputters a bit at that. You found it? Yeah. It's where I got my eye from. I did one last job. Somehow went through a portal. And I found Shadowfell. I haven't... I haven't told Salentium. Because I because I don't know I don't know how she would react. It's a very understandable fear. Like I don't know, it's, this is, to be honest, everyone, everyone keeps saying, uh, everyone keeps saying I'm meant for a, for a higher purpose. Tamiri said it, the Kadoom said it, I, I don't know what that higher purpose is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all of this. I just, I just want to live. I just want to live a normal life. I don't, I don't know I'm if sure I if you want all of this. No, I, I don't. I, but then I, then I met you and Maruk and Damius and Silentium. I, I met all of them and now I now I see that this is that this is worth risking our lives for however many times I've read I never risked my life that much when I was a smuggler I just I just went through life one job to the next, not caring if I lived or died. As long as I had the ability adventure and coin in my pocket. I don't care what I did. Now, now I actually care because you're seeing a purpose. Not just, not just because I'm seeing a purpose. He reaches out and without looking at her, he reaches out and grabs her hand and holds it tightly. I, I'm doing this because someone 
Someone cares about me. I've never had that. Ever. Daisy quickly pulls him into a hug. need to be sorry. <laughs> I care about you a lot as well. And that's why as long as we are as long as we are engaged in this quest of ours, I will do all I can to protect you and the others. Not just because it is my it is because of my sworn oath to Dakaris, but as well as because I care for all of you. You are my close friends. Even if I even if I only met you merely a couple weeks ago. Seth takes a few deep breaths and Eventually, his breathing calms down. You're a good person, Seth. You may have a troubled past, but in the end, you are a good person. <laughs> a lot of people would... A lot of people would say otherwise. And I would defend you against those people. I've seen the good you are willing to do. And I believe that is more true to you than what has happened. In I, I, I'd like to think that, but... I don't know if I can... I'm sure in time, you'll see the same feelings for yourself that I see for you. Thanks, Daisy. You're welcome. Um, I, I am... I... I think I need to... Just, um, I think you should get some rest. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, um, I'll, uh, sleep by myself tonight. All right. I'll go check in with the others and check on you one more time tonight, okay? Okay. I'll, uh, if I... If I need you, I'll, uh, I'll call you. Of course. Rest well. Thanks. Damios, hey. what are you doing? I forget what what's, what's around the town. I mean, nothing. Obviously, nothing's open <laughs> except for I'm assuming an inn somewhere or a bar. Yeah, the, uh, the inn is open. The archer and the flagon. Um, there's also the armory, blacksmith place that is indeed not open. Uh, the bakery is kind of starting to be open since the sun is starting to come up. You said this was the capital, right? Yep. And that, and the, which I'm assuming means there's like a castle somewhere in the upper corner, mm -hmm. or at least like a high estate of some kind. There is a castle. 
I'm going to go and walk suspiciously by it. <laughs> Not for any nefarious reason, just suspiciously. Okay. Yeah. You uh, go to the I'll be I'll be right back. Okay. You go over to the castle and indeed there's a lot of guards around the walls and a few archers patrolling around. And they kind of eye you. I wave at them. <laughs> I smile and wave. They're mostly elven, some human. Kind of a mixed so, bag. So Damios is just being awkward around town. <laughs> Dead. Well, no. Uh, I'm kind of checking out the place. I do need I need a I need a description. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold hey, on. Well- I gotta try something. Okay. I know it's not gonna work, but I just want to see what happens if I do it. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. Approaching the castle, it's a lot bigger up close than when you see it when you first enter the town. The wall itself looks to be about 20 feet high, made of dark stone, with pillars on top for ballistas, a few of which are armed. Not too much because it is nighttime, but it seems the night shift is on high alert since there's a drown in the area now. (laughs) Um, There are guards patrolling outside the wall, as well as you can assume some guards patrolling inside the grounds. Uh, There are pathways along the top of the wall leading to each ballista because the walls themselves are about 10 to 15 feet wide for the guards to patrol through. Good lord. Yeah, this place is very heavily guarded. And in the front, there is a big drawbridge gate along with a spiked door. So it's like it has two doors. Hmm. I would not want to be. Ca- I would not want to be caught in this place. <laughs> I kind of stare at it for a little while longer before carrying on, not wanting to seem too suspicious by just you know staring at it. Mm-hmm. As you start to walk you know away, what? the guards seem to relax a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, that that tracks. <laughs> One of these days. And you said the bakery was opening? <laughs> it was opening. I'm assuming I would have passed by there on the way up. Yep. Hot cross swords. Uh, you see the smoke rising from the chimney. You can assume that the fresh stuff is being baked right now. I'll... See that and step over there then. Okay. You see Steffi. Um, the Furbolg. He's a chubby, chubby, chubby Furbolg. <laughs> with sea oh, green lovely. skin. Another Furbolg. With sea green <laughs> skin and blue splotches and green hair, very droopy eyes, and large ears and paw like hands. The door is open, yeah. so you can step in. And you smell right. the fresh bread being baked, as well as a slightly sweet smell of pastries. Morning. Oh, good morning. What can I do for you? Might I ask what that wonderful sweet smell is? <laughs> ah, I'm baking some fresh meringues. Ooh, baby. <laughs> ah, I see you're a pastry lover, huh? Since I was a kid. <laughs> well, I'm always up for new customers. And he put he pulls one of the meringues from the baking sheet that he just pulled out of the oven with his mitts and hands one to you. Be careful, it's hot now. Yeah, I, I, I noticed. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like uh, fumble with it slightly, but I, I don't drop it because I'm. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> no. Can I just say I love that voice? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why do you think they forced me to do it? 
I, I was going to say, we have forced her to do it on multiple occasions. It's just that good. Because this is the first character that used it. <laughs> it it's because it's literally brilliant in every way. <laughs> As you bite into it, it's very fluffy, very sweet, and it has a hint of lemon. Good. Damn, that's really good. How much do I owe you for this? Oh, that's a free sample, my friend. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Again, I'm always open for new customers. Well, what else do you have back there? Let's see. I got some bread baking, which is good for a... Uh, doing business if you know what i mean i remember you were here with seth one day i haven't seen you in a few weeks hmm um question do smugglers understand thieves can't yes actually uh so i i don't I'm going to, uh, well, the character has no, is just guessing that that's what they do at this point, because, you know, I don't have that much information. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to say some gibberish that vaguely translates to, ah, that makes a lot of sense. Indeed. Of course, I don't I'm, know if he's still in the profession. He hasn't come by in quite a while. No, he seems to have, let's call it, turned over a new leaf. Ah. He's got a girlfriend now. It's real nice. Oh, really? Big dragonborn lady, heavy armor. Hmm, can't say I've seen her. But, uh... You'd know her when you did. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'd notice a pink dragonborn. Yep. What's her name? Daisy. Hmm. Unique name for a dragonborn. That's what I thought, too. Hmm. <laughs> How many thoughts do you have on every member of the party? <laughs> a lot. Literally, like, a large part of... <laughs> just because of how I play things, a large part of the character is just kind of passively trying to gain as much information on it, everyone as possible. <laughs> oh, God. And so I said I had, like, a fully formulated guess for what Seth's backstory was, like, two... It's, like, three sessions in. <laughs> <laughs> I've been literally sitting on it for ages for the point where he like admits this out loud to uh, uh, to people and I'm in the room so I can literally just shout out hey, hey wait a minute I have a guess can I guess first <laughs> <laughs> oh god because that's literally what the character is supposed to do figure out as much as possible the one I figured out the least about is Rarook actually which is strange because he's literally the one I talk to the most but nothing has slipped yet <laughs> like all right, no, I mean, so other than his I, I, visual discomfort with the haggle of orcs at one time, that's about all yeah. you've got. That's all I've got. I know you're uncomfortable Latin around very out of place language that he knows. Hmm. Yeah, like I know two things, but it's not enough to come to any like actual conclusions about what he's been doing or what he, you know, what his deal is. Mm. <laughs> of course, uh, uh, would you happen to be in the business? You seem to know a lot. Smuggling? No. My area of expertise is more, shall we say, performative. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, no, well, eh, questionable. <laughs> what kind of performance? Speaking of which, do you, do? you know where a guy could get a disguise around here? Hmm. You know any magic? Yes. <laughs> Have you ever tried learning the sky self? I know it, but I do like to have a couple physical disguises around just in case. Ah, I see. Don't want to burn those precious spell slots. Yep, yep. <laughs> in that case, 
They might have something over at Fool's Gold. It's a general store. They sell some clothes and stuff. Interesting. I'll have to look into it. Mm-hmm. Run by a very nice lady, Olivia. Bit of a, a character, that one. And you would know since you're talking in thieves can't, he actually means she's a thief. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Just don't ask where she gets all of her stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've learned better. <laughs> yeah, this may be the capital, but you know how capital cities are. Big cities. They got a lot of thievery going on. A lot of crime. Like down in of Wallowdale. Course. Of course. We're better to take things in a place where people start to feel safe. <laughs> yeah, Wallowdale and Lunaris are those two big cities known for their crime. Of course, Wallowdale, I think, tends to be more obvious about it. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for work, I'd suggest going to the Warrens in Lunaris. Interesting. Yeah, it's the hub world for the Thieves Guild. Now that is intriguing. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's on the border anyway. of it's on the border of uh this kingdom in Elvenshire. I don't have a map to mark it on. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of us has a map, and I left her back in. <laughs> I left her back in the church. <laughs> but yeah, um, you know what? You've been a great help. Um, how much would say? <laughs> I literally forgot how many party members I had for a second. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how much would say five loaves of fresh bread cost? Five loaves of bread? That'd be ten silver pieces. Is this going to be another case where Danios carries around a lot of rotten food that he forgets about? <laughs> no, no. No, I am trying to be nice because everyone's gone through traumatic events lately. Thank you very much. Jesus Christ. I'm not a yeah. monster. Actually, 10 silver, that would be one gold. Yeah. One gold piece. I'm gonna pitch him a, I'm gonna pitch him a gold and, like, uh, three silver for the information. He's, he nods. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Absolutely. And I do have a question. Hmm? The bird. You wouldn't happen to know anything about his, you know, eye thing, would you? I don't know anything about his eye. I do remember he used to wear bandages. But now he actually has an eye. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen him that happy since he was back with Aravac. Interesting. Old smuggler friend, I assume? Yeah. Gotcha. You have a great day now. You too. I make my way back to the church now. Okay. You went to the church. It's about... It's getting up in day, and Silentium, your curse has ended. 